Hello, everybody. I think I'm basically ready to get started. Give me one moment. Welcome in Parameter. Hope you're doing well. So now we have the, the frightening task of trying to recall what we were doing last time. So if I recall last time, we escaped the train and we went to Guild Galad. We were told there was activity in one of two places. I believe we're currently looking for the mines. So we were given the name of two towns. I want to say one of them was Helmets. And the other one was Holes. But I believe they want us to explore the mine shaft either way. So we were just kind of wandering around the overworld. Seeing what things we can unlock. I believe the last place we went to was like the dark something. With that absolute nonsense pick a path. We're relying on hello. That's that's also true. So I guess we'll I guess we'll see how things go. Let me pause the music. I don't think we've heard that song in game yet. I guess that's a minor spoiler. Let's go ahead and switch over. I need to remember to relabel these so I can find them better. I'm still using the default ones because unfortunately I switched computers, so I was like, which, what does standard mean? What did I mean by standard? Okay. I know we're in Maria currently, but it, it that's not where we need to be at all. But you can also just, I guess, call the Kodak as a reminder. Good intro. Why does that play every time I load the game? I'm like, come on. That's one thing if it, like, starts the game up with that, that's fine. But, like, when I'm loading a save file, please don't do that. Uh, I think everything else is fine here. Something feels a little off about my controls. What happened to my dash? Why did these two buttons do the same thing? What happened? I didn't touch my controller in between. I would like to be able to move. <laughs> right, chat? So, something tells me I, I would very much like to be able to move here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, we're PSO controls on. Oh, hold on. That makes more sense, actually. Ah, they are. Okay. I was like, yeah. Good call, good call. I was like, wait a minute. I definitely should be able to run with the X button. I'm like, I haven't played in a while, but not like that that long. This is after mine, both... Da oh, excuse me. Damson, not Helmets and Holst. Well, I guess I could go back to Holst. Hopefully everybody's doing well today. I'm in the process of waking up. I mean, I'm assuming if they're gonna be somewhere, it would be in here. They're after the mine to the northeast of the town. Wow, that guy is... That was the most helpful NPC we have ever talked to. <laughs> Why, thank you for knowing the exact location of where we need to go. That was ultra convenient, chat. <laughs> not planned. I, if we talked to him last time, I did not remember. We said northeast of the town, right? Yeah, we were down there before. Yeah. 
Oh. Uh, so I think we've got to go back down. How did we do that last time? I think there was... Oh, we'll take the encounter. That's fine. It's just green. So we'll, uh... I guess we'll go to the beach, and we should be fine. I mean, I don't think I need to do anything special here, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, I could just use Hello to heal. Imagine this enemy will die pretty quickly. Might as well stop my HP off. You're surviving barely. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully things improve. Please die. Uh, that's unfortunate. Now I want you to get a turn. Although that did very little damage. I guess that's okay. Guess we'll dango them. Bonk, 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 chat. Oh, the weakness is Earth. What well, that did an insane amount of damage. Just, just normal pillar slash hello things. Like other teams, six hundred damage. Him, four thousand. Yeah, that that seems about right. We definitely have not broken him. I don't know what you're talking about, Chad. Those those are normal damage numbers. I am going to choose to teleport to the hovercraft instead of figuring out how to walk there. My brain is not computing how to get there. But then I just... Then I could just go this way, right? Or no, because I'm on the other... Mm. I think I gotta move it to the other side. A thousand? That's the first time that's ever been worth it. Why does it sometimes give me useful money and then other times it's like, here's one. Right, well, I'm gonna move it to the northern side of this place. I'm not entirely sure how the townspeople were able to reach the old mine. Maybe that's why it's abandoned. It's just in a very inconvenient place. There we go. I figured out the disembark button. We found a sign, which is probably going to tell us where the mines are, if I had to guess. What? Wait, you just put a sign here. But then it's not over here? What? What? They... they put the mines in a flat area? What? I mean, typically chat, I don't know about you. When I think mines, I think like side of a mountain, maybe slightly angled downwards. You know, you, you gotta eventually go deeper into the earth. I don't think at the end of a cliff facing the water. I don't think that's where you should put mine shafts, but that that's fine. I, I guess we found it. Ashley says, I heard this mine was closed a off a long time ago. Low dot 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 sus. Yeah, that's right. I can't feel any energy. You can tell. It is indeed a choice. A zealot priest is a priest who channels the guardian's power. Probably why it was closed. Yeah, that's true. They can sense the energy of the earth and spirits. That's proof that Hello's abilities as a zealot priest have developed. If that's so, then something strange. This is getting frantic trying to secure a large energy source, right? Then why would they be after an empty mine? That's true. Oh, man. I just realized, too. I don't know if I have my old notes for this game. Ooh. Oh, th oh thankfully I do. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to say closed mine shaft. Uh, boat to North Pulse? Or the weird spinning pyramid thing, which we can't interact with yet. <laughs> Hello's abilities have definitely developed, says Chris, and tr very true. Blue Donna still doesn't know what the plot is. It's, it's okay, that's typical Blue Donna. That's true. 
Apparently, Bashley agrees. I wonder what the Saurus would notice in a situation like this. Don't do that. There's no use talking about someone who won't return. Damn. I'm sorry, but... Let's survey the place first. It may take a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. But if you keep moving forward, the route should appear. There you go, chat. No use thinking about the dead, she says. So she's not too far away from leveling. Characters are finally catching up to Hello and HP. I chucked these because I could. Not because I needed to. Oh. Well, that was rude. Reminds me of the bats that were in the first game, only they're not draining my HP as much. They do hurt you. Do they even hurt you for much or like 10 damage? Let's find out. Eh, 100. Alright, I have a question. If they were targeting this mine, how did they get- Okay, you know we're inevitably gonna get ambushed when we go beyond this point. Like, did they just set up a bomb in case it collapses on them? Hoping somebody would save them? You know we're gonna fight a boss in like two minutes. I don't hear any items from the booty call thing. Please pick up the box. Wow, literally nothing in all these boxes. Kind of unfortunate. At least give me the common courtesy of giving me a basic healing item. Wow, these boxes suck. Like the, the semi explosion effect when you blow that up. Chan, I'm just gonna ask the obvious question, why? Why would someone do this? What what logical purpose does doing that serve other than to annoy the player? Well, you see, the, the, the construction workers were really drunk one day. They just could not build in a straight line. And we're like, you know what? They worked so hard on it. We're just never going to correct it. Truly something. Also, I've noticed there's been no encounters so far. <laughs> I know, there's like no reason for it. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's gonna be a timer mini game. Chad, I, I have a I have another real question. Like, who who did the path on this one? I started to see more why this place was closed. Look at this. Who wait, like okay, like honest question. Like if if these were not clearly demented puzzle masters, like why wouldn't you just put the fuse along here and do the shortest path? Like, what is the point of this? Did they, like, did they build it while it was leaking in the first place? Ridiculous. Wait, that's not too early. I mean, we got it first try. It's just a timing minigame. <laughs> what? What is wrong with these townspeople? <laughs> Listen, chat, this clearly is not up to safety standards. Why is this so different from the other mine from the same town? 
What, what are they doing? What is this? And then you're gonna put bats that knock me backwards, right? Of course. Annoying. I mean, I first tried it at least, so I'm assuming it would just knock me in the pit and waste a bunch of time. Everyone quit due to poor working conditions, they'd have to. This might be one of the worst mines we have ever seen in any video game. <laughs> like, this place should be condemned. Like, other ones, they're like, arguably still usable, no. No, this, this is not safe for anybody, this place is nonsense. Alright, where's the boss that's inevitably waiting for us in this hellscape of a mine? Okay. Chuck slide. Items used will now add ammunition to the bayonet. It'll execute a shockwave attack on an enemy group. Okay. Blue ribbon acquired. Wow, that was low. That was low, chat. <laughs> wow. I, that almost deserves a round of applause, to be honest with you. Did you like that? Just immediately get hit by the statues? And I can't dodge that, by the way. It locks me in place, for those that are curious. I'm assuming you're meant to have collected them with the other thing. But it doesn't do enough damage for me to care. Just gonna be honest with you. I'm pretty sure it wanted remote retrieval. Yeah. So I, I just have I just have a question, like, did the miners purposely put up the statues to react to the treasure chest? Like what 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 was the purpose of what they did there? I'm so confused. Anyway, we have Irene here saying, So you are here, Bashley. You are the carrier of the demon. How did she how did she beat us here? We had to blow up like three different places, chat. Irene, descendant of the sword mages. Please wait a minute. We have no desire to fight you. We aren't supposed to fight. That's right. We're only fighting reluctantly because you attacked us. That's right. Don't think about it too hard. Thank you, Chris, for resubscribing. Also, Chad, let me know if I need to rebalance any of the audio. I do apologize. If I sound too quiet or the game sounds loud, just let me know. I weren't burdened with destiny. I'd have no reason to fight you. But, Ashley Winchester, as long as the demon lurks within you, I target you. You are my prey. I who carry the blood of the sword mages. Do I have a choice? There's no choice but to battle! Beware! Beware at us? Okay. I mean, she's the one that should look out. She's probably gonna get dunked on again. The blood of the magus and the flesh of the demon are calling to each other. In other words, Bashley. Oh, in other words, Bashley and my lost half-self. Half self? What does that mean? Does she also transform or something? The battle determining male or female is the way it should be. Determining male or female? <laughs> what are you talking about? Anyway, I I'm assuming she just hit her he head or something from our previous attacks. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with a ha on that one. Uh let's tell her to chill out with an ice beam. So we'll do Ice and Lightning. Let's see if any of these are her weakness. Okay, you targeted Hello, which was foolish. You put him at 50 points, which is almost enough to do something fun. Damn, that does so much damage. Ludana even more confused than normal. Okay, so it's not Ice, it's not Lightning. Hopefully this just lands, because she should be basically dead next turn, I would assume. Maybe, maybe she'll have, like, 8k health. Or unluckily, she'll have, like, 9k or so. I imagine we're not gonna get very far in this. Let's do... 
Oh, oh, I only need 50 for my other one. Oh, she's very unlucky then. Let's do fire. And then let's do... Water. And you know that's not going to kill him, right? You should probably do a new attack. So we're going to do extra damage here. Oof. Right, chat? That damage is insane. She's somehow outspeeding hello, which is kind of impressive, honestly, given the level difference. If this lands again, hopefully she dies. If not, it's not a big deal. She's not going to survive, like, another turn of this. I refuse to believe. Uh, we'll do... We'll Graviton her, so we'll do Earth. I'm assuming she has no weakness. Then I'll just... I guess I'll just kill her with... Rob? I kick. Oh, this might do more damage. But how much damage is the question? Uh, it did some decent damage. Too bad I think it's over. Alright, so she had somewhere between... 7,000 and 9,000 ish health. 4,200, we leveled. Why? Why won't it deliver? Are you saying the sword may just blood in me is a lie? It can't be. This can't be happening. If so, why? Why won't my sword reach the evil demon? Answer me, demon carrier. My half-self, Bashley Winchester. To hunt the demon and get powerful, I gave up my body. And for what? Irene. Don't touch me. I don't want your sympathy. There's another me lurking inside me. It's a powerful force which can't help but destroy everything. But I believe power is neither good nor evil. Oh no, chat. It is I who willingly uses the demon's powerful force. I wield this power for what I believe in. That's... I want to use this power to protect things important to me. I'll take the evil power and turn it into my own power in order to defeat Odessa. <laughs> Is this Yu-Gi-Oh? I think so. She's dot dot dotting. She doesn't want to admit she is the Millennium item. Irene, come with us. You don't have to join us. When I can't use the power of the other me, then. Irene, I want you to... I want to borrow your power, which carries the blood of the Sword Mages. Ashley? Ashley? It's something I myself have known. Every time I fight, every time I use that power, the other me inside gets bigger. Well, we used it, like... Twice? When I can't avoid harming what I love, I want you to cut both of us down. You, Irene, are the only one I can ask. That's why I want you on our side. Ashley, I am... This show's over. Let's stop right there. Judeca, so, this was your plan. You catch on late. The preparations are done. While you were dealing with the hero nerd, I took care of things. Well, so you're saying I planned that? What? Saying I planned that? What? That doesn't feel translated correctly. I didn't expect it to go so well. <laughs> Whenever I'm happy, my glasses fall. Maybe, yeah... I know, this is such, it's such a weird translation chat, for sure. It's definitely unfortunate. Can you stand up, Irene? 
the demon and hero are passing dreams of a quest from the past. Living in obscurity is so very fitting. I, I guess he's just saying, see a nerd. Irene, oh, wake up, Irene. This wound, we must treat it immediately. The town of Hulst is closest, especially... Oh, Irene isn't an enemy. Our opponent is Odessa. Let's hurry to Holst. Are you gonna teleport us there? Hopefully? Okay, good. I didn't really want to walk out of that dungeon, to be honest. Why are you here? No one can heal her but me. Her illness is very interesting. I, I meant severe. I don't want to leave her in anyone else's care. Ah, uh, yes, a very trustworthy individual we gave her to. Your bionic implant has gotten a little loose, it seems. Victor series bionic implants are based on living bodies, so misuse is expressly forbidden. Performing exorcism requires extraordinary powers. As a sword mage's descendant, I needed to get to that power, even if it meant giving up my own body. You didn't need to go this far. Shut up. If I didn't do this much, I would not have become self-aware. You have no right as someone possessed by a demon. Why is every JRPG doctor we meet sketchy? I'm not sure. I guess there's a great mistrust in the medical system in Japan. It just permeates everything in media. Oh, what, what could that... Ashley? I'll look out back. Gremlin, I'll leave her with you. Don't worry, just go. This is horrible. What happened? We gotta help out. You all certainly seem to be having a rough time of things. You don't even realize how sad you look, running around like rats. Don't hate me, though. You have defenders of justice to protect you, which gives miscreants like me reason to exist. People of Holst, I have wronged, yes, but these are my accomplices. It's not true. What are you saying? An unconvincing protest. So you finally appeared. I think your time has finally come. There is something to what you say, though. Because of who I am, descendant of the Sword Mages, I do need enemies such as you to defeat. A hero only becomes a hero in battle. Which is where I belong. Wait, what? Um. Mine is the blade that punishes evil. You have a human body, but your soul is foul as that of a devil. An appropriate target for me. Well, Miss Human Concealed Weapon, show me what you've got! Maybe she's healed. So we know about some of her moves. Worst base multi level attack? Guess I'll just try this one out and see how it goes. So Gatling Level 1, I'm assuming, is what it stands for. Okay. Damage isn't super high from the enemy, at least. I can attack to build meter, I guess. Yeah, let's try to get up to Gatling level 2. And use it with the next one. Fire Fist Spark. 
Oh, I learned a new ability, I guess. So apparently I just learned a new ability. Attack with the Gimmick Fist. Uh, you know what? We might as well see how much that does. We'll do another normal attack. We'll do Pike Kick. Showcase it, I guess. Vortex Cut Sparked. Okay. We're unlocking all the abilities, apparently. Ethereum. Alright, so let's use a Gavling Level 2 here. Oh. You know what? Because I'm not sure how long this fight is. Let's heal, and then we'll Gatling level 2 the new ability. That should be safe. I should have enough meter no matter what here. Well, that does a lot of damage. I don't like that he's spamming this. Alright, so let's see how much Gatling level 2... Oh, I can't Gatling level 2 it. Oh, that sucks. I mean, I guess we'll see if this is worth it. I still wanted to see this. Apparently there's restrictions as to what to be Gatling level 2. But it didn't kill him, which is concerning. I just got shot in the face. Oh, it paralyzed me. Oh, am I dead here because I'm injured? Kinda sucks. I can't do anything, chat. It's up to the game to give me a turn. I think I just lost. Wow, that sucks, because I was literally about to heal. Wow. Thanks, game. That was really cheap. Do I even use a Gibble coin? Yes. Damn. That was that was really cheap, chat. I literally got paralyzed, and it's RNG damage how much I take. Do I even have anything that makes me immune to that? That's just kind of BS. I guess I should probably equip her with something so she doesn't die instantly. Uh, we probably want her evade percentage up. Give her more tankiness. Of anything that blocks paralysis or is oh you know what it's probably on one of the other characters. It's so stupid. All right, let's give her an auto revive. Yeah, that was really stupid. I don't know what they were thinking. I feel like we got the rule of cool, and I just got screwed because I didn't know what attack the enemy had. It's not even like I underestimated the damage. It just, he decided to paralyze me. Like, there's not really anything I can do about that. If he paralyzes me, I think it's just game over, right? Because he can do like 1600 damage instantly. It's pretty bad. And now he's using his strongest attack over and over. You know... I will say, Chad, I am definitely not a big fan of this game's boss AI. Like, this just feels really unfair. Like, already this fight is, like, way harder because he's just spamming his highest damage move over and over again instead of doing 200. It's not really... does not really feel fair. I guess we'll try to relearn the abilities we had last time. Yeah, like, see how little damage that does? Ridiculous. Our kick sparked. Yeah, it was basically the equivalency is Oh and he got he got a counterattack on a skill? Wait, that can happen? That's insane. So we'll just try using each of these once to see if we unlock anything new. Wow. I guess I should try using a, a Gatling. Hopefully this fight ends soon. I've been attacking literally every turn. Please die. Annoying. 
Wow, that's so cheap. That's so cheap. That's so cheap. I can't do anything. <laughs> this is so stupid. I have no counter to this. I have to redo the other boss battle. Holy. What were they thinking? Wow, Chad, this is bu this is bullshit. Oh, you you bet I'm gonna complain about this battle later. Stupid. Wow, so much for my escape dolls, by the way, chat. Thanks, game. Yeah, you give me a character, I don't know what they do. Then you just kind of screw me with paralysis, and it's only one person. I I can't heal while paralyzed, so I better heal in case he does it again. And it doesn't kill. But hopefully we don't get paralyzed again, or we're just gonna waste another escape doll. Stupid. Yeah, this battle was not balanced properly. Like this, it's literally if I do not have escape doll or I don't have cure paralysis, it's over. There, I cannot win this battle before he uses it. Stupid. I can't believe it. Not at a time like this. Yeah, she made us use the continue. How dare she? You don't deserve to be my opponent. Better luck next time. And then we lose anyway? Screw you, game. Screw you. That is so stupid. You know... Stuff like that sours my mood on the game. So let me get this straight. I had to use a continue coin because I lost to him. But then I beat him and I lost to him anyway? Seriously? Seriously. I hate game design like this, chat. This, this is on my top five pet peeves. This right here, it's on. it makes the list. <laughs> this is exactly the stuff I don't miss in old school RPGs. I am glad I don't see things like this for the most part in newer games. We've learned to move on from stupid stuff like this. Other game mechanics include things like RNG death per instant death percentage. I'm glad that that also is mostly non-existent outside of like a Persona game. Remember this, it will start soon. It will start very soon. <laughs> Next time, don't go flying off without heeding my advice. Your enemy is also my enemy. We should fight together, Irene. We are comrades in arms. More now than ever. Well, then I'll hire you. As an exorcist or as a merc. How about my reward? When I can no longer restrain my other self inside of me. You could finish me and my other self off together with your blade. How is that for a reward? It's a deal. I can't believe you too. Let's get back to Valeria's Chateau for now. We can't heal anything here well. We have gained a brave new comrade for our coming battle with Odessa. I'm sure you know that she has fought bravely against fierce opponents before. Yeah, lost given her track record so far. Irene is an exorcist, a human concealed weapon, and now the fifth member of ARMS. Welcome to the team. Look forward to fighting beside you, Irene. I... I... I am just here to fight with you against Odessa's misdeeds, Bashley Winchester. I'm here to settle things with you. I see. Uh, oh well. I'll be sure to watch my back. Okay, now for your next mission. We found the supply route for the energy produced at the Alchemic Plant. There was an energy pipeline heading to the desert south of Quarterly. What they want to do with energy in the desert? here to drag this party down, basically. There have been lots of ancient ruins found there. That could mean... They've discovered some lost technology. And that plant is there to supply energy for it. 
I wonder what they're trying to accomplish. Arms will investigate Odessa in the desert south of Quarterly. If situation warrants, they are to block Odessa's plans. It's hard to believe we're called on to act together like this. She dot dot dots. Thus is the destiny given... I think she meant to me. Given to me by the sword mages' blood coursing through my veins. Destiny given by blood? Aren't you taking it a bit seriously, Aisha Bernadette? Bernadette no longer exists. I'm a hero descendant of the sword mages, no less. O okay. Maybe it is I who is taking it too far. Human concealed weapon Irene has transformed her entire body to bionic implants for special powers. Her bionic arm original powers are special commands that use her concealed weapons and energy bursts. Using a bionic arm power in battle may cause her bionic governor to be released, giving her new powers. In addition, her artificial right eye, the sonar function for finding items or map symbols. Oh, guy, map items appear as yellow dots and destination appears as green dots. Okay. So at least we figured out how to, in the future, find items. That does save us repeatedly scanning the area, because I was getting kind of tired of that, I'm not going to lie. That's good. Oh man, she's gonna be- she's gonna have no skills. It's gonna feel so terrible. I mean, I guess I'd rather have Irene- <laughs> removing hello from the party. Yeah, sorry Vicky. <laughs> right chat? Let's put the important people in. Do I even have the thing? Yeah, so Bashley had the thing that I could have used to make the other fight less annoying. That feels like such a dumb knowledge check. Do you know what I mean, chat? Like, how would I possibly know I'm going to be using her and I'd have to keep the accessory off? Versus being prepared with my current party. This is kind of BS. Um, uh, we'll give her... I guess mittens for defense. Oh no, I'm still not happy with that. I'm not gonna, like, quit the session over it, but it did sour my mood considerably. You know, I'm, like, I'm all for, like, challenges in games, but when it's, like, that rigged against the player, where my options are, I hope I found limited-use items that I couldn't have possibly stocked up beforehand with, or to make sure I happen to know that an accessory another character is using is required for that battle is pretty BS not where I want to go. I think I'm going to go the other way. Yeah, I think we learned last time we have to go in here to leave. See the person in the middle there. So we're just going to pick a town. Maybe I'll go back to Guild Golod for items. I just immediately park. I don't even want to fly this. We're gonna go back to Gilgalon. Alright, so as long as I'm vaguely in the vicinity of them, it looks like she'll find it. Interesting. Welcome, Charlie. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we had our first game over, but I think chat can agree. That was... Probably one of the more unfair fights we've seen in a while. Not the most unfair we've ever seen on stream, but it's it, it's also it's pretty high up there. Nice. Right, so let's reload our ammo. Do I even want to arm upgrade the other weapon? Probably at least increases damage a little bit. Yeah, we'll leave these mostly as is. The, the important thing is I'm just going to be spamming bolt action over and over. And if I want to do normal shots, we'll just use shot weapon. 
I'm not gonna bother stuff with that. Let's see if we can get her an upgrade and also personal skills while we're here. Oh, are you the item store person? Yeah, just a showcase chat. I can't buy healing items. Now, obviously, cure paralysis items don't really work if I'm the only person in the party. Oh. The store didn't upgrade to consider her? That's awkward. Well, I guess we're not purchasing upgrades for her. I mean, it makes sense. A lot of games don't do that, but you, know, you might as well as Chuck. Oh wait, this isn't the class skill room, it's the bonus treasure room. Was there a class skill person? I don't remember. Maybe not. Unless they're here. Oh yeah, it was this person. Alright, so we need HP up immediately. What else do we want to use? Probably physical attack up. And we could give magic defense up. I basically just want to max defense, healing, should be good. Anybody have any fun skills I should learn? Not per physical defense in case we're forced to use her in the future. Ashley can almost use physical attack up. Critical has been okay. Yeah, he's completely maxed. Though I don't think it really matters what we do now. I could just cut FP usage down if I really want to. Give him advanced guard. Ends when near death. I don't know how useful that'll be. I think most of these don't really matter. I don't think I really want resistance items, given that we know there's items that should give us like full immunity later. I don't really want counter attack on him. So yeah, I could use cut FP down just to get abilities sooner. Sudden death resistance might be okay. I probably want advanced guard maxed. If we have a chance of just negating all damage, I think we should take it on our mage characters. Anyway, I think that's all we need to do. Let's go ahead and resave, I guess. We gotta go to quarterly. I guess I'll find out if I missed any items with the little radar just by walking around. Right now I don't really have an urge to go back and check other areas, but we might naturally come across them. Yeah, I'm hoping with the melee character here, this will save us some time in combat, overusing spells. If we really need another mage, we could put Vicky in the party. I guess the other thing I could do, we've been holding apples, right? I could, okay, so chat, we're, I think we've seen all the physical characters in the game. So the question is, do we give the physical apples to Ashley, Irene, or wait until we inevitably get back, uh, Thesaurus? I would like to actually burn these now if we're gonna use them. I think for sorcery up, we're gonna give it to Hello, because it's hilarious. So he's our main magic user, we might as well make him unstoppable. We could increase Hello's defense, I think is good. Resist up. Bashley's resistance is the worst. Maybe I'll give it to Bashley here. Because I feel like he's probably going to be used. Wait for Thesaurus, sure. I guess the question is whether we like Bashley more than Irene or not. Bashley seems like he has more potential than Irene because we can max our weapons. Oh no, I might hold off on those. Alright, so if chat wants Thesaurus, I'm going to hold off on the Strength Apples. Just burn some of our other gems. Wait. Oh, there's quarterly. Apparently I missed an item in this random desert. Checks out. Unless that's the location. I missed what color they said was what. 
Oh no, that was the destination. Poffin of a hundred eyes. She outspeeds Bashley, which is important. How much damage is she doing? 507's okay. So hopefully her health will start to catch up a little bit, since unfortunately she is uh decently leveled without the parameter. Which again is a thing I don't really like. I wish when we took this skill it was an immediate bonus versus you having to get it early. Like, if it was just, like, current health times, like, 5%, 10%, 15%, I would have been fine with that. Versus, like, when you get the party member, you get more health. I don't like that style of stat-ups. Ashley says, something's not right. Hmm. Huh? What is? Why? They might be responding to the stillness. Dot, dot, dot from ba Ashley. We traced the supply route from the alchemic plant to here, but this silence. You're right. Either the place was abandoned at the same time the plant was destroyed, or the energy supply was no longer needed. Or it could be one of their little traps. Either way, let's continue the search. To track down Odessa from these clues. Okay, we know we're inevitably gonna get a tool for her to use. There's no reason to remove her from the party just yet. Hmm. What is it, Vicky 2? Ashley seems like the Saurus. Yeah, because until now we've been dependent on the Saurus. Okay, so here, here's the thing. If you say we were dependent on Thesaurus, you don't need to emphasize yourself because you already said we. Exactly, Blue Donna. I don't know what happened to the translation. Me too. I really got to get my act together, even more so than before. Otherwise, I can't show my face the Thesaurus. Yep, you're right. Okay, let's start the search. What happened in now thinking about dead people? <laughs> He broke that rule real quick. Right, chat? Remember when we're like, what would the Saurus do? And she's like, no use thinking about that now. He's dead. <laughs> now she's just comparing us to the Saurus. What a hypocrite. Okay. There's an item up there I obviously have to get. Uh, what if I go down first? Sure, we'll take this encounter. I don't know what those are. Mushushu and gremlins. Oh, my, my melee abilities don't work here due to the enemies. That's kind of annoying. Their weakness is apparently ice. That was a good guess. did no damage to hello. See, so yeah, I think if we want to use her more, we might need to feed her strength apples. Like, she's fast, but she doesn't have, like, a big damage payoff yet. It's like a failed griffin. Okay, we're definitely gonna get, like grappling hook, or they'll probably call it something stupid like wire zip. Like, they're not gonna call it grappling hook. We know in our hearts it's gonna be grappling hook. Just give me it already. Chat, I'm just rolling my eyes. Like, of course. Wire hook is used for Irene. Press square and the wire hook will shoot hooks ahead of you. 
Food and hooks into the post will allow you to cross over to places previously unreachable. Now the question is, which area is progress? It's just as annoying as a Wild Arms one. I'm glad some things never change, chat. Uh, what? Okay, thanks game. Cool. Can I just do this instead? Do I really have to go across? They just put it annoyingly out of range. How do I get her to diagonal and not fall like an idiot? I don't think I could reach it from the other side, unless it goes like really far off screen and I'm underestimating it. Because I don't think I could get a good angle then, unless I could do this. Can it reach from here, even though it's off screen? Oh, okay, you can just barely reach even though it's off screen. That's fair, I guess. I didn't think that would actually reach. Um, I guess I'm making progress, but I didn't really explore the other area that well. What is this? Um, da 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 Tristrenix was also a star destiny. Blue Dawn is very slow at finding the stars of destiny. Due to the Diablo Pillar's resonance, the energy supply is up 64%. I'm Delgazo Ignition, stand by. Energy problem from the destruction of the alchemic plan is cleared. Maintain the energy supply from the Diablo Pillar and stabilize the Heimdall Gazo. Information seems very fragmented. What are Heimdall Gazo and Diablo Pillar? Alright, this feels too much like progress. Let's go backwards. So there was that other place I could have gone to. Maybe it's like a defense upgrade. Or it could be another weapon, technically, but it's more likely a defense upgrade, given we got a weapon here earlier. Game, please. I hate when it's really picky with how you line up with... Did you really slide off? Game, please. Like... I don't know, chat. Something about the 3D in this game. Like, I swear it looks lined up and then it's not, depending on the camera angle. That drives me wild. Things are indeed happening. I agree. Let's drop down here. There's another door that's there. But, like, what about over here? What was this area? this one. Uh, oh. Can't go that way. That sucks. I guess I gotta do this. I wanna see what this other thing is. So how do I get up higher? Is there another place I could go to? Do you, what do you want me to do here? Assuming I can't... Yeah, I can't check it above this. Did I mess up? Or do, do I have to purposely fall? There's something over here that I can't see? Or is this just the one way on the escape or something weird? I might as well just drop in the pit. I didn't see... Like, I don't think I could go up higher than this. I guess this is just a one-way. It's kind of annoying. So I guess there was no point to coming over here, Chad. We have to come from, presumably, up there. Unless there's some kind of switch I have to hit. Because there's nothing I can latch onto to go higher than where I am. Because I, I can't just climb this very slightly inconveniencing block. And it won't let me puka up there, I'm assuming. No, that would that would just be too convenient. 
I mean, you think it flies, that it should be able to grab that, but whatever. Though so I guess this is just the one way for now. Unless, as I said before, there's a way to manipulate the terrain somehow. Well, I guess I'm just gonna fall back in the pit. We'll have to come back here later. Though... Yeah, I don't think I was missing anything in there. Game, please. So at least if I gotta go back, it's kinda easy. Alright, so there's still another pl- We might as well get in the fight here. There's still one other door we could check. or water. I just kind of guessed last time and it was fortunate. Okay, it doesn't matter. Pretty cool. GG. That did a lot of damage. I guess if I want to build meter in order to unleash my super attacks more consistently, critical's good. So she probably would have benefited more from critical than the other characters, which is kind of unfortunate. So she would have been able to, for example, build a lot of meter, and then presumably unleash a ton of damage on the enemy. Whereas the other characters, they don't really need their meter at all. Oh, seriously? It was from this side? Oh, it's kind of annoying, actually. Well, I guess we figured out how to get here, I suppose. Hold that for a trench coat. Uh, I'm just dropping down the hole. I feel like that'll at least... Okay, I saved some time by dropping down the hole. So unfortunate that those rooms didn't really go anywhere, and then one of them was a one-way. Yeah, see, they put it in a way that it's, like, off-screen with the camera angle. It's so annoying. Anyway, let's continue this way. We now have more defense for the main character. Point of all this. I love you could drop in the pit, though. So I'm assuming I have to throw a knife or something, if I remember correctly, to do one of those. Can I throw them in between those? to do. Unlock it. Well, actually, maybe this is... There we go. I'm gonna blame the camera angle on that one. We're good. Uh, so we got a door over here. I guess I should go over here first. Found the save point. Hmm. So, I mean, so far we're at least getting through the dungeon. It's not too bad. We're slowly adding monsters to the beast series. So, which way does it want me to go? Do I go this way? Uh... Oh, this just leads back to the other side here. Okay, I don't want to be here. Now I understand where I am in context to other places. Are these the things that stop me from using stuff? No, it's the gremlins. Okay. Should be GG. 
I'm gonna fall down the pit since we've been in this room before. As I said, as I said before, I kind of lose track where things are because I need... Not I need, but I usually end up rotating the camera a lot. So my sense of where things are is very, very messed up in this game. Because also there's no like mini-map showing what like room tile I'm in. Compared to like other games we play. It's very easy for me to forget where things are relative to each other. I guess we'll just proceed this way then. I'll heal slightly. Proceed. Okay. Tried to guess where it was. There we go. Okay. Up the knife. There we go. The gears are turning, chat. That lets us reach the other side. Which I can also chuck a knife on. In case this raises us, I'm gonna stand on this. It's probably gonna lower that. I'm trying to think ahead on that one. So... We'll get into a fight here. It should be fun. GG to the gremlin. Gradually, we're earning money back. Not that I need it at this moment. XP is kind of irrelevant at this point. We have uh, the one and only pillar. Ooh, so we have multiple things we could be doing. I'll go left first. Welcome, Cryo. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're given a lot of choices. I'm not sure which one is what I want to do. Wait, do I even have to go over there? Why would I do that? Feels very unnecessary. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, right, chat? Found the Crest 1. Covering from food poisoning. I already hear that. Sorry to hear that, Cryo. Hopefully things will get a little better later in the day. We'll eventually be starting up Chrono Trigger. What is all this nonsense? Uh, I don't think I can hook it away that'll help me here. Yeah, it's kind of an awkward place. There's nothing for me to go further on. Um... Oh wait, is there something off screen? Oh, there's something off screen, of course. Eat that. It's a Chrono Trigger, does it taste good? Oh, we'll find out, I suppose. I don't know if it's my kind of game, but we'll see what we can do with it. Diagonals, please. I know I can hook this. I have to go to, like, the, the far edge. There we go. <laughs> it's like, don't lie to me, Gabe. I know I can hit that. I know it looks like I shouldn't be able to at times. Got another one of these. Dumbrella. <laughs> that is a, that's a name choice. Well, I guess she got an upgrade. All the magic users in our party getting damage ups. It's mostly pointless, since I don't plan to ever attack with them. So, I did all this, but what did this earn us, ultimately? 
don't think anything, right? Like, we got that. We came in through here. There must be another exit that I didn't see due to camera angles, so we're gonna go back this way. We cleared out everything that's here. What? How was- what? Oh. <laughs> oh. Chat, that's another camera angle please moment. I was like, come on. How is that not lined up according to the camera angle? Give me a break on that one. Others you can blame me for? That one, not so much. Camera definitely told me it was aligned. Even I did a double take. Oh, this should be GG. You know what? We'll melee with hello just because. Maybe it'll save us time. Oh, he didn't actually kill with it. That's unfortunate. So sorry. Did not save any time. I was hoping he did not have to sit through his fail animation. Oh, well. Punished, I guess. Hopefully this kills the group and does not whip anybody. That sound effect is so bad. I don't know what they were thinking with that. Well, at least we got use out of one of our alternate weapons. So yeah, so at this point, I think we're just looking for the proper exit. So this is probably a place we have not been. For Diablo pillars are designed not to function independently, but to resonate and amplify the output. Even if one pillar is destroyed, as long as the others operate, the generator still functions. If the information gets fragmented again, surmise the generator must be very powerful. Let's get more information. Thank you, Bashley. I feel like we're overdue for our chat. We... Oh, okay. okay. Well, I mean, I guess I can also just use the knife to do the same thing. I feel like the wire hook should work in the same scenario. Oops. That was player error that time. How do I get the right angle on this? But, oh, unless- oh, I can fit behind there. Okay, never mind. We're good. Camera angle! <laughs> Let's move this out of the way. Chad, I have a lot of questions. How did people use this factory before we came here? Gotta be kidding me. How- what a- uh, Seriously? Does that not work? <laughs> Chat, it could be a break. <laughs> like, seriously? Seriously, you couldn't have given more leniency for that? I swear I was hitting it, and I looked at it, and it looked like I hit it. I'm getting cheated on these grappling hook puzzles, Chat. Uh-oh, Chat. I'm already seeing lizard stuff. Familiar voice says, L is the L of lizard. I is for incredible. Z is for zesty. Who's there? I'd ask, but I already know. I always get stuck with you. Some kind of fate brings us two together. We build factories for aesthetic, not function. They made an appearance. The two with varying worldviews. The young girl hurts feelings so lightly. She sees flaws so rightly. Ard. Ard, Ard. Who are they? I can't even get mad. I feel so sick. I say such things during our first meeting. Disappointed you're so displeased with my amazing knowledge of that. Getting stuck with an idiot will be my ruin. I'll kill you. 
Whoa, wait, Irene, you can't take this guy seriously. The public opinion polls rate me highly. I have tons of good traits. This is probably the only place in Filgaia where you can hear such praise. I appreciate your support. Ard, 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 Ard. I've been training, so get ready to take me on. Come, look, feel. Don't get scared now, such novices. They just spin into us, of course. I'm feeling like playing a few tricks. A lovely explosion, really. We're offering a journey of sleep to a far-off land. Today's actions will become tomorrow's legend. Look, Irene, their Joe characters just deal with it. Irene's actually pretty injured. It's been indeed. I might just do a normal attack here. To ensure she has enough meter for next turn. Then we'll do ball action on that. I'm gonna give everybody meter and see how this works. That's a lot of meter. Now I can use the, the good attacks. Mixed bu bug liquids. Okay. Poisoned him again and diseased him. Alter ego punch. <laughs> she just got deleted. <laughs> Holy. I was like a little below max health, but uh, yeah, she is ultra dead. Well, I'm not going to bother reviving her. Let's do this. Uh, let's see. Oh, she can't re revive pe Oh, they have to be in the party to revive. I, I guess that makes sense. What? Uh, let's up Ashley's damage. No mercy. She got destroyed. See, that's the problem with her not having the HP ups. Now she's just kind of a super glass cannon without, like, a big payoff. Kind of annoying. There we go. That's it. Hit hello. That's fine. Wow, hit him for literally zero. What a damage difference, by the way. That power up 84 points. Okay. And it's probably useful given that he's attacking with this. Looks like we very injured the other one. How much are they doing to Vicky with this? I like how the damage difference was 1800 damage versus 181. And chat, the balancing of this game is like all over the place. Can we just firmly agree with that? How is the same enemy doing 10 times less damage? Actually absurd. Oh, he's actually knocked out of the fight already. Um, I guess I could substitute Irene in. See if I could revive her. I don't want the full health one. Where's the other one? Let's use Toriel. Then I guess I'll... Fire? I don't remember his weakness, to be honest. Anyway, hopefully we don't get one shot. Dump truck tackle. How much is that gonna do? Not that much. Do I not have an AoE heal on her? That actually kind of sucks. She's got the level... She's got single target heal, which I can use on herself. Irene's on her own for now. Probably water gun, maybe. Just gotta end the fight now. building meter again. So I guess if I die, FP cost reduction is still relevant, since it drains my FP. 
We don't usually die in combat to really pay attention to stuff like that. Alo can get rid of all of his meter in case the party dies. He literally can't take damage from the normal attack. Oh, and it's over. Tiny flower acquired. I mean, that checks out. You do such cruel things. No choice now but to bring out that mean machine. So while it's said to have to say adios, that's just the way it goes. That's somewhere how scientific progress always has victims. Anyway, here's the nasty creature our recent battle data gave birth to. March, arms killer. No morals and no control. Mash him and smash him. Okay, here's the real boss. about a monster assassin arms killer hmm back-to-back -back boss battles without the ability to heal is interesting I guess I can substitute out Vicky here Bashley I do like that you could change mid-battle, at least. So, at least if we can't revive people, we could substitute them in. I think that's a good change overall. Although I'm getting very low on, like, boss killer weapons. I'll just use shot weapon for now, just to try to get a guaranteed hit. Let's heal the party, in case some nonsense attack happens, and then we'll focus on damage next turn. Laser. I did decent damage, but I don't think I need to heal from that. Okay, let's so use shot weapon for attack to build meter. Let's try using. I don't know, you're kind of red. Let's try using water on you. Unless I think it said you're a machine. That's either that or lightning. Try lightning next. Biolaser being used again. Hopefully she doesn't get one shot here. It did respectable damage. Okay, let's go ahead and use bolt action into... We'll do... Probably Wire Fist. Is it worth healing? Probably. If we have another battle after this, might as well heal. Let's see how much her upgraded attack does. So she has like a lot of scalability with FP. Old Ray Gimlet. So if this is an AoE, then I definitely Oh, I don't regret first aiding now. That would have put us pretty low. So now she can use her best ability. So she at least seems to be like scaling pretty well with bosses. So if the boss has a lot of health, maybe Irene is worth using. Use this. Now she could just use Art Kick, and I could just heal again. Next turn, I can AoE. If he's not dead after this, we'll go all out offense. So she's starting to scale up in damage. Yeah, there we go. So we ended the battle at full health, which is perfect. 5,000 XP and money. Bashley at 27. Nice. I'm also waiting for Brad to make an appearance. I don't know if he'll show up here or the next dungeon. There are also like a million clones of Brad that I don't really know what happened, slash thesaurus. Even the arms killer everyone loved. Guess we have to finish the... Boku... Boku Gidon? After all, darn you! Why do you stay with Odessa? Stop conspiring with Vinsfeld. It's none of your business who we're allied with. Ridiculous. I'm gonna leave rather than get lectured. Let's go, Ard. Ard, Ard, Ard! Exploded indeed. We sure wasted a lot of time with that one. <laughs> wow. Are they always like that? 
seems like it. That was my second encounter. But we did get something. I find it hard to believe they'd have military power at an abandoned site. These excavation traces are sure to reveal some significance. Okay. Da 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 The energy supply from the Diablo Pillar supports the huge mass of Heimdall Gazo. While excessive energy consumption is seen as Heimdall Gazo's flaw, it's nothing for the Diablo Pillar. Until all four pillars are destroyed, there's no way to counter its destructive force. In other words, the Diablo Pillars are the Heimdall Gazo's lifeline. Heimdall Gazo, a new force for Odessa. Well, good thing they just wrote that in there for us to learn about. The four Diablo Pillar generators that support it. They're a definite concern. Dot, 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 dot. For now, let's go back to the Valeria Chateau. We can plan our attack against Heimdall Gazo and the Diablo Pillars. Okay. Guess they're gonna make us walk out of here. Whoa, what was that? You mean what was that? Unless she just met the phone call. I guess so. Perfect timing. I just got an important piece of info. Odessa was ex excavating the Heimdall Gazo. That plant's energy must be for that. No, it couldn't be that. Well, that may just be it. Right at your point, at your coordinates. Not blabbering, it'd be more specific. A here. I took over for Kay because she had to, you know. I detected a heat source directly above you guys. I get Super Fortress class mass and energy pressure. Makes the Vrukasis look like a joke. How could you miss something like that until now? Gosh, it's not my fault. I get it. Just explain what happened. He used the wizard... The wizardry stealth function. That is a phrase I've never thought I'd say. They used the wizardry stealth function to shift their face. The Valeria Chateau's spotting equipment is no match for that kind of stuff. There's more. What? What is it? Pinpointed the focus of the heat source's energy. Looks like a carrier-based heavy arm. It's big enough to smash you all to bits. Well, why didn't you say that first? Anyway, Roger. We're getting out of here right now. We die. We'll come back from hell to haunt you. Yikes. You're a wizard, Bashley. I think so. Well, time to see what that is. Oh no, the Desert Pyramid is giving me uh, Rogue Galaxy vibes. Oh no, chat. We can never escape the pyramid. The scene even had ridiculous flying machines in it too. This really is just like Rogue Galaxy. And Tenora says, it's on the radar. I'll blow it up on the monitor. Wow, very impressive. While well, the Heimdall Gazo isn't done, it's the best excavation weaponry. Things can't possibly get as bad as Rogue Galaxy, though. I do feel we need to play it. I'm just trying to figure out when we're going to replay it. Like, technically, we have some recordings of, like, things like Gujian 3 and maybe a video or two of Rogue Galaxy. Yeah, I feel like people need to know. <laughs> replay our earliest games. Maybe that'll be our next big thing, is to just do the uh, original ones that did not have proper recordings. Consider it an honor, arms, to offer yourselves up for the testing of the Soul Deleter. I wish I could have strangled them to death with my own hands. Diana says, kind of the same thing with uh, Rune Factory 4, where like technically... I have some videos of it, but I put it in private since it didn't start at the beginning. Because I did not start recording until much later. 
So that includes like our very first Berseria playthrough was not recorded. Aina says, I'm Delgazos, loaded with the heavy arm, the soul deleter. One blow rivals the light of a fixed star. It'll burn everything in its path. Those scoundrels opposing Vince Vault's ideals best disappear now. Yeah, I don't know if I'd really want to play Nuno Kune 2 again. Technically, I don't remember if that's recorded. I'm assuming it is. It That would have been one of the very first. Or, like, literally the one right before. Gujian 3, I got everything but the first video, which is so sad. So I think technically, Nuno Kune 2 might have been missed. Anyway, that's a side conversation. Antonora says, energy levels are over 75%. We've reached firing levels. Aim's fixed. Air is adjusted. Ready anytime. Since the counterattacks were worse than expected, we'll wait for perfection. Raise the energy level to 120%. We will restore the light. So what shall we do? I mean, what shall we do? We just told you. Please wait. Energy cluster response confirmed at a location 4100 distance. Display it on the monitor. That's impossible. How could he be? How could he be alive? Then he die in the explosion at the plant having sacrificed himself. Yeah, it's possibly I just have partial recordings. But at least we can full meme it up, I guess, with a uh, Rogue Galaxy when we get to that game. I've come back home, Vincefeld. The scar you gave me. This gias around my neck won't let me die yet. As long as I'm chained to this, I'm coming back as often as I can. That's right. Heroes don't die. <laughs> well, I guess... <laughs> I guess, uh... I guess that one character was not a hero then. As long as they have the will to fight. Oh, well, okay. I mean, I thought he was coming back eventually. It wasn't in this dungeon. Is when we left this dungeon. Whatever. Having the... The Saurus Tunnel Vision. He is very calmly walking out of here. Come on, Gia, show me your power of destruction. Don't be so hasty. Soon both you and I will be blasted by Gias. Be patient. You stole my fool just to battle me. Okay, I get it. Ha 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 ha! Perfect timing. I'm gonna make use of the shape. What? Oh, oh, that was... Oh, please don't rotate on that texture ever again. That was nauseating. I guess I'll just bazooka him. So we are fighting fake thesaurus, but I think this is a flashback? Wow, he did a million damage to us. We're having a bazooka off. Okay. Should be able to use lock on. Lock on with the bazooka here. I don't recall which is our strongest weapon, but at least we're doing good damage here. Uppercut acquired. Take my shape, my memories, and my skills, right? So that dog collar around your neck is the same as the real one. I'm gonna borrow it. Um. Okay. Let's end this grudge I have against you right here and now. This blow is my farewell to the past. The blow for the Slayheim Liberation Army. <laughs> he just kind of chucked him in. The beacon for new battles. Take this, Vinsfeld. Radmuth Manthus. I, I agree, Blue Donna.
How can such a thing happen? I won't permit it. Uh, uh, you! Readjust the target. I'll make up for that failed death. I'll obliterate him this time. The generator is damaged. Refilling the soul deleter is impossible. Then smash the Heimdall Gazo on them. Does he think he can drag me down to Hades with him? I won't let you. I won't. Please, calm down, Sir Vincefeld. How can you come back alive? Are you saying you're a real hero? You're gonna say it's a miracle caused by a hero. He's not dead, nor is he a hero. You, Sir Vincefeld, shall be, should be well aware of that. Let's retreat for now. We'll regroup and wait for the victory on the Heimdall Gazo. And Tenora. The reactor is off. The subgenerator has been started. Evacuate immediately. Neither a hero nor the dead will be able to block our way. <laughs> yes, we still have our trump card. That's right. We still have the nuke. Dun dun dun. Take that, society. Thesaurus! Thesaurus! It's not a lie, is it? You're really back! I've come back to fulfill my duty as a hero. It seems I can't die just yet. I finally understand why we fought and beat Odessa, while we're powerless and frail against such a great destructive force. Through our beliefs, we have evaded danger and discovered greater strength. So what one person has doubts, and cracks develop in our trust. It gets broken. Dot, 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 dot. I want the strength to save others. They'll no longer doubt my friends. I'll trust them fully. Ooh, please betray him. Oh, please betray him now. He deserves it after a comment like that. So... Somewhere along the way, I don't think I fully trusted you all who are now my friends. Though, without going into it, it brought about suspicion. Dot to dot to dot to dot to dot. Listen, everyone. Rather than speak the truth, if there's a way to win trust, it's to move with you all. But I don't plan on having contact with you all. My goal is to exercise the demon that possesses Bashley. Bonds formed in battle are the strongest. That's what I learned on the battlefield. Ties have already been established between us. Calvishan says he'll be here until your sister's graduation time. Well, congratulations to your sister and welcome, Calvishan. I guess that's why you were doing the early stream before. All arms members are present, and now... The enemy's aerial fortress, Heimdall Gazo, is damaged and vulnerable. Must take this opportunity to deal them a mortal blow. They need an energy source of massive power to keep such a thing afloat. As you discover that the Diablo Pillars are their energy generators. There are four Diablo Pillars, each of which we think helps maintain the fortress. In order to destroy Heimdall Gazo, he must eliminate the pillars. After the last encounter, Heimdall Gazo has been evading our radar. If they possess the wizardry stealth function, we won't be able to locate them. However, even the wizardry stealth function has limits. A large amount of energy must be expended to keep it in place. In other words, what's coming next is... Your next mission! Your mission is to silence the four Diablo Pillars that make up the generator. Once Heim Del Gazo's energy source is eliminated, we'll see it's every nook and cranny. Then our long battle with Odessa will come to an end. Be careful, and don't slip up. Elaine. Understood. Alright, everyone disperse. The plan will proceed at... 
guess you say that is 10 hundred? I don't know how you say that. 10 hundred hours? It's weird that they put, like, the o'clock in there. I think the colon is just throwing me off. But anyway, I, we'll, we'll say 10 hundred. I think that's how you pronounce it when you're talking military time. At 10 hundred hours tomorrow morning, free time until then. Chat confirming 10 hundred. Oh no, oh don't give us, oh please don't make me talk to his girlfriend. It's so awkward. Oh, man, that's my reward for doing the dungeon. <laughs> I'm gonna try to have motivation to get through this cutscene, chat. Cliché, what's wrong? We were together all day. That doesn't happen often. Yeah, I guess it had been a while since we did that. You've been worried about me this whole time, haven't you? No, 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 I haven't been. Have I? I didn't really notice. <laughs> Bashley, I'm supposed to say that. You're not supposed to say that. Well, I did. Say, Bashley. Yes? You act like you have a big mission coming up soon. We dot 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 her. I do, cliche. I wasn't hiding it from you. It's just that... I know, I'm a burden to you, Bashley. This, this stereotype is just... Oh, it's like nails on chalkboard to me, Chad. I'm so not interested in this character. You're fighting to save everyone, but I'm just holding you back, right? Yes. Yes, you actually are. I'm keeping you from focusing on your mission, Bashley. Now listen, Cliché. I'm much stronger than before. I'm far stronger than I was even a little while ago. But I'm not talking about the strength to fight Odessa. I'm talking about the strength to live through this mess and make it home to where I belong. I just feel like you're going further and further away from me. Wish I could be strong too. Strong enough to hold out until we be together forever, Bashley. Well then, let's be stronger together, Cliché. I'll be strong enough to survive until this is over. You, Cliché, must be strong enough to save me. A place to come home to. I would dot 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 this whole conversation too. Can you do it? I can't become strong like you overnight, Bashley. Don't worry, you can do it. It's easy. Watch. See, Cliché? Just hold your hands apart like this. <laughs> I wish she was doing that near the stairs and he just, like, yeeted her down the stairs with, like, a foot or something. That's what that's what my dream would be, so we're not having this ultra-dumb conversation. This is all the space I need to come home to. Kavishim says, I wonder how this is actually how she was written. I mean, JRPGs are not the greatest story, but this is about the rest. I don't know, Calvisham. The translation is all over the place. I don't know if I would say this is above the rest. That's also kind of a big stretch, to be honest with you. At least according to the English translation, this game is definitely a mess. Just this tiny world in your arms, cliche. The small space is the most important in all of Filgaia. You're right, it's easy. See? Being strong is easy when we're together. Like, I still think this is gonna be a sappy love scene, no matter what. Regardless of the translation. The translation doesn't help, though, I will say. No, not that. I mean, it's easy to express my deepest feelings to the man I care for. It's a lot easier than I thought. I'll be back, I promise. Please never return. And I'll be waiting for you. It's like, I just, I don't want to return to her. I just don't care. Just, I, no. Be free, Bashley. You could do better. Uh-oh, the synchronized marching. We definitely picked the right name for her. Chad, Chad was on point with that for sure. Finally, we won't have to deal with Odessa any longer. Yes, but that will hardly be the end of our struggles. Why did he agree with himself? You see what I mean about the translation chat? It feels like he's talking to somebody and maybe they forgot that it's the same person talking. Like, I don't think most people go like, we should do this. Yes, I agree, but 
But, like, the same person isn't supposed to say that. As long as Philgaia exists, your battles won't end. So, fight to win, but also live and return. We blink in unison? Oh, that's true. We're depending on you, everyone. It's not just us who is fighting. All these members, as well as everyone living in Philgaia, are fighting Odessa. With everyone's help, we cannot help but be victorious. Live to return. Fighting as a team, we're really fighting together. I too will fight for Philgaia, together with everyone. I think we'll do like maybe a pillar or two. I'm feeling kind of hungry to be honest. I don't want to go super late with this stream. But let's at least get past the two hour mark. So I guess we're looking for our next destination. Went back to the prison. There's something here we could go revisit. So there's one here. Monster Island still doesn't have anything. Is there a way to speed this up? No. I was looking for something, but I went the slightly wrong way. That's fine, we'll loop around the world. So there is something on the island down there. I'm assuming there's something in this ridiculous darkness. Okay, now there's something here. Okay. So I know where two of them are. Presumably the other two are on the southwest island or the northwest. Because there's like a big gap where there's nothing. So I'm assuming they're basically at the four corners of the earth. Let's go ahead and park. Oh, I hate that it doesn't disembark me automatically. So I mostly just need to summon the hovercraft over here, so I think to do so... Oh, a yellow thing over there. Maybe that's a dungeon. We're gonna enter here to make the hovercraft teleport to us. In the meantime, I could try to upgrade skills. Fix ammo. Store ammo. I had a feeling it was gonna do something. I just didn't think the whole mansion was gonna go up in the sky. Oh, it's a. Oh, so he just came with the railgun. Interesting. Ship mounted railgun. I think it's worth buying another bullet for this. In fact, let's get three bullets. I want this as strong as possible to be the boss killer. So I think three bullets will mean that we can basically shoot it three times and kill most bosses, because it's very, very strong. And if I really need to, I can use my reload on this character. The lawnmower looks terrible. Guess I could upgrade it a little bit, but I don't intend to use this very often. Um, is it worth getting a fourth bullet to reduce the number of times I have to use items? That's what I'm thinking about. Might as well improve the damage a little bit here, in case I do want to use this in the future. Okay, so personal skill should be on the other side. Also, I think the game will force me to actually refresh my ammo now that I think about it. The game does not intuitively just let you upgrade and get a free bullet, which honestly it should really dumb that I have to buy the ammo again. Kind of really unnecessary menuing. I hope Wild Arms 3 learns that if you expand the slot to just give us another bullet, right chat? It's like, really? Well, let's see if he's got any new skills we should be wary of. Not really, but he maxed out his physical attack at least. Hers is good. Technically, I think she'd benefit pretty heavily from critical. Special ability. Honestly, she might end up going for that one soon. Because she's the most likely to burn through her abilities. Uh, do I want it now, though, is the question. I don't think I do. 
Uh, so chat wanted strength ups on our bazooka friends, so we might as well do that. Chat is decreed. I'm gonna give him a ton of strength. So I think what's gonna happen is that we need a party that's like good for overworld travel and a party that's good for bosses. So I think for overworld travel, we just need really fast characters here. And maybe like these three are good enough. And our boss killers are basically Thesaurus, Bashley, and Hello. The Hello is good at both. This Hello is broken. Maybe we'll do something like this. So if chat wants to give future strength apples to the other character, that's up to chat. The problem is, like, going slow is just kind of bad for us. Unless the enemies can't be one-turned, then we'll switch into the other team. But generally speaking, we want to make sure that our best of the best is available. I probably want to give him... I probably don't care about his response time very much. I might just give him roll damage. Make him very tanky. Oh, and I gave him, like, attack power up? Let's not do that. Ooh, I can make him faster? Maybe. This is it before. I basically just want to go first. Though I don't really care about his physical attack power. Let's try this. Maybe with her, we just focus on damage. She's already pretty fast. So if we could guarantee her doing better damage, maybe this will work out for us a little better. Let's just play to the strengths. We're just making Thesaurus very tanky and damaging. We're gonna go for as much... Yeah, I could technically give Thesaurus the huge response boost, but... Eh, it's probably fine. So I'm gonna hope this strength up will mean that she can one-shot a little more easily. Got pretty good magic power there. I could make her go really fast with this one. If I really need to. So if she's going too slow, I might do that. Oh, it didn't teleport the hovercraft to us? Annoying. Where did it put the hovercraft? Thought it would come to us if we did this. Why is it over there? Seriously? Right, do, okay, I'm gonna teleport here and force it to come over here. Stupid. <laughs> right, chat? Fine, there we go. I forced it to come to me. Over here, I think, is the prison. I guess the question is, what do I want to do first? I guess I could go to the ocean first. the encounter here. Let's see how fast we are compared to the enemy. Yeah, see, she just needs, like, a little bit more. Like, left edge is okay. We're gonna use flame and lighting, maybe. How much damage this does. Hopefully with this attack boost, she'll one-shot. Oh, perfect. That's what I want, chat. I just, she just has to be just strong enough to end the encounter. So that way I'm not waiting for enemies to hit me. I don't have to worry about healing. Because I think that will save us a lot of time. But potentially she'll scale very well with strength ups. But the problem is, like, I don't know if she'll be good enough for bosses. It's like kind of like, do we commit for, like, normal play? Or do we commit for, like, boss only? Do you know what I mean? We're at De Diablo Pillar Plotomia, which we were here before 100%, by the way. Well, might as well continue for now. We'll take some encounters here, but I don't really want to get into too many. Um, uh, 
Guessing we just teleported somewhere. Ooh, got ambushed. Nothing I could do about that. We're fighting Oki Pete and Land Lamfrey. Okay. Hopefully we could just outturn and kill everything. So we're gonna try just using Rock Bolt and we'll do a water element. Wow, we got outsped? How? We have like the fastest party members. That's like mind boggling that something went first there. That's unfortunate. Yeah, let's see if this is the weakness. What are spinny spins? Nope. Not the weakness, but it killed. Irene hit 27. Nice. Hopefully she gets decent stats on level up. More importantly, she needs way more HP. He is hilariously behind the party. Oh, that's kind of gross. I don't like that visual effect. Um. Okay, well, things are just kind of happening, chat. Oh, what? Wow. Okay. What do you want me to? What do you want me to do? <laughs> what is this? Um. I, I'm assuming I can't kick it, right? So what was I supposed to do differently there? Maybe bombs? Just like trying to think through. Yeah, that was just very rude. I've not dealt with these before. I could do something like this. Or I could just go through them. No, bombs didn't seem to do anything. You know what? We're just gonna face tank it. Fun. I don't know what the intended solution is. I'm assuming things like knife don't do anything. Freeze probably doesn't do anything. Fire doesn't do anything. But I don't really have like anywhere to dodge, so I don't really know what they were thinking. Does that do anything? No. I'm just gonna shrug. I'm not sure what it wants me to do there, to be honest with you. Unless they just roll out of the way over time or something. It doesn't feel like they are. I'm just gonna damage boost through this. Right? Like, there's... I, I don't have, like, a jump ability. Oh, I couldn't get through that one? <sighs> Come on. I, I need a hint, Chad. I'm like... Okay, does boot work? We've tried almost everything else. Do I have to kick the cube? How annoying. I'm gonna be very injured by the time we go to do something here. No, boot doesn't work. This just feels kind of unfair. I have to be missing something. Unless this works. Yeah, this is kind of BS. How did I get through it before? My HP is going to be so low when we're done with this chat. It's actually going to be scary. Whatever. I'm assuming I need something to get through them, and I don't have it. But at this point, I might as well try to beat it without having the right thing. How do I get it? It's like... How did I do it before? Why can I not... Why can I not do this correctly now? Why am I suddenly not able to go through this? Oh, there, there is some jank with this chat. Hold on. What am I doing differently that gets me through it and sometimes not get through it? It looked like it took damage there, I think? Or it might have been me flickering. Really? I'm supposed to use that many bombs? I can't get out of here. Chat, get out of here. The whatever. Yes. Wow. 
That is that is so stupid. I hate it, I hate I hate it too. It's actually stupid. Alright, so I was unintentionally doing the quote unquote right thing. So if I just spam bombs, I'm eventually gonna get through this. Or not. This really sucks. What were they thinking with this? So, like, what is the intended way to do this? Since there's a lot of jank, apparently. Oh, I destroyed it so it's gone forever. Oh, I guess that works. Like, does it... Like... Does it have to be, like, dead center? Like... Oh, that's gross. What were they thinking? All right, so it's like, it has to be dead center or it doesn't count. That's why it wasn't working before. I gotta do something like this. That is so stupid. Yeah, like, because I, I did it here in parameter and it didn't count. It had to be, like, right here for it to count. Like, just hitting it with a bomb isn't good enough. It had to be pretty centered. Because I did it at the edges, and then it didn't work. What a terrible gimmick. <laughs> like, like, what an actually terrible gimmick. Well, we're, like, at 1 HP. This will be interesting. Cool. If I get ambushed here, I, I will pretty much die. Uh, I think this is GG. We'll see. If they hit hello, it's over. I have a revive here, technically, but she's very likely to die. I'm gonna try to keep Hello healed. Okay, we're good. Wow, fortunately I'm the right level to have this ability, or else this would just be GG. I am so glad he went first, chat. I would've game over there. Holy. Please kill that enemy. We're making sure our Lord and Savior Hello does not die, or we're going to be in big trouble. We'll probably heal the other team members at some point as well. I just want to be at full health with one team first, in case we have to deal with that again. I am so happy we power level. This dungeon is stupid. So yeah, it, we kind of glitched through it, which made it confusing as to what you were supposed to do. So minus points for the game for letting me do that. If she gets stunned here, it doesn't really matter. I swap her out anyway. So we're just going to do a basic heal on the other party members. So in case we need to use them for a boss battle, they're not, like, hopelessly weak. But we'll double heal him here. We should take basically zero damage, yeah. Okay. So they should be able to survive some of the nonsense. Although I think I have to attack here or my whole party is going to get paralyzed. As well as heal again. Yeah, just really dumb. I don't feel bad for not figuring that out because it was being very picky with me whether it took damage. It only took damage like when I did like the four bombs all at once it would literally not take damage because it didn't flicker. So it it had to be, like, pretty centered, and I couldn't stack the bombs, and I had to make sure it was falling on it at the time. Bad. Bad decisions here, chat. 
What the heck is this? There we go. There we go. Now that they're more active, it's a little easier. There we go. Too slow. There we go. So we had to learn how to do that eventually. I'm noticing I'm getting ambushed constantly. Is it because Bashley has the prevent back attacks on? And now we're getting the red ones over and over? Actually, no, Bashley has it on. Why are we still getting these encounters? Kind of unfortunate. Ooh, that's right. We have arm times two. See, we need lock on with, I think, our railgun. Oh, railgun needs 99 to use? Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh. I thought it was something more reasonable, like 50. 99? I'm basically never going to be able to use that. So sad. Alright, so those two are too slow to stop them from getting attacked, so we're gonna have to swap them out, sadly. As I said before, I really don't want to be in like a heal war with these enemies if we can avoid it. Wow, is every dungeon gonna be like this? This is kind of horrendous, I'm not gonna lie. I think between like the semi-nauseating spin effect and everything else, I don't think I want to do more than one today. <laughs> or after this, I mean. Oh, these are new. There are Versagos and Picabrias. Let's switch them out. Kind of funny, we sub out Thesaurus for Vicky. And I'm only doing this, as I said before, because I don't want to repeatedly get attacked over and over. Uh, we'll try icing them. We're just looking to establish a weakness on something. Having two spellcasters helps a little bit here. Weakness is in fire. Gatling level 1 is a nice thing to burn if I don't own, plan on doing more than one attack. Should do decent damage here. But will it be enough is the question. It is. Nice. Ooh, Vicky's too slow. Mm. Oh, that is a big mouth. Holy. Well, I guess if Vicky's too slow, I could just bring in somebody else. I was hoping she would be fast enough. Yeah, she didn't even kill. Sorry, Vicky, I think we're booting you from the party. Since speed doesn't matter then, maybe I'll bring in Thesaurus. Just because I want damage. If he's gonna go last anyway, it doesn't really matter. Sorry, Vicky. You should be faster than this. And in fact, I think I gave you a speed rune just now. But you're still a disappointment to me. If we're gonna go slow, I might as well just go dead last. Like, making the bomb blur around us. What's this? Some intrepid confinement. What would he do in this situation? Is he... Would he get out right away? Because he had people behind him, he had to protect, would he... What? No, that's not right. Because he trusted those following him, he was able to get out right away. What? Need to take a lesson from him. I'm assuming the real hero. It seemed kind of weird that he was monologuing to himself there, but that's fine. We're fighting something. Explosive Emperor, Monster, Bell, Claire. Oh, 
Oh. It's like a tiger turtle. Um... Let's sub out a character. To... Let's put Bashley here. We'll try this team. I think this might be our boss killer team. I like Irene more for when we need to do fast encounters, as I mentioned before. So they're all... Here. I'm gonna ball action the drill, because that seems like that'd probably be the most annoying thing that it has. Then it's earth base. Would it be weak to lightning? Or wind? Try lightning on the drill. Go on for a lock on with all, maybe? For more damage? Okay, not the weakness. There we go. This hitting every part might be good for us. I did slightly boost this thing's damage. I mean, that was good damage to everything. I think Chat can agree. That was actually pretty good damage. Real danger. Whoa! 2,000 damage. Whoa! <laughs> Wow, were we supposed to do this dungeon last or something? This is insane. Holy. That would have one-shot our other characters. Like, the Saurus has the highest defense as a reminder. So if I was playing with, like, Irene or uh, Vicky, she would have been one-shot for sure there. And okay, we're going to try to build meter with a punch. Again, he's got critical, so if we do need to build a meter, it's fine. Oh yeah, we broke one of its pieces. Can't multi-blast this. Sadly, even though they're part of A, it doesn't hit all of them. Feels kind of a ripoff, or whatever. Um... Could use Earth against it, just because. I mean, at this point, I might as well just go for the rail cannon. It doesn't seem like it's chest, but we'll take that. That's fine. We healed it, which is fine. So it should... Maybe it has weakness to wind. All this means is we're more likely going to see the rail cannon. Which I do want to see at some point. Make a ton attack. It missed. Okay. That bought me another turn. Let's try win. I don't know what the elemental weakness system is in this game. I, like, is it wind or earth is the weakness normally? I don't really know. We'll learn, I guess. Most of the time it has not been relevant. It was not really relevant in our other playthrough. Okay, so that is the weakness. I'm gonna have to think opposites are earth and wind. I guess it's water and lightning? But, but then there's also fire. Maybe it's ice versus fire? And No. I don't know what the opposite of lightning is, chat. Unless it's earth and it's like a circular weakness pattern. But anyway, we're making some progress. I'm gonna safety heal in case nonsense happens. I almost can use the rail cannon, which is all I really want to see at this point. I think I need like two more turns. Yeah. Because we did not bother with the elemental system pretty much at all in Wild Arms 1. Oh, this is perfect. So we should have it next turn. So I'm just going to do regular attacks. Hopefully I don't accidentally kill the target. In fact, let me just defend with each of these characters. I just want to see the super attack. Resonance Quake, okay. Welcome, Rom. Did a lot of damage. We're gonna go ahead and heal. Just wanna see... Lock on with the Railgun, how much damage this does. I don't know 
if that was really worth it. I don't think it was. Even though a bazooka was not tuned for damage, I don't feel like that was good enough, to be honest. You would think with a weapon that had, like, triple the attack power, it would have been a little more... a little more of an oomph, maybe? Alright, so its weakness was win, so this should just basically be GG. There's no way it's living this at this point. We're gonna be doing so much damage to it here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Damn. The damage is real, chat. 10,000 experience. That is a lot. I should have parted that. Oops. I guess the XP here is insane, question mark. Am I done with the dungeon, though? Best, best. Go we'll equip that. Oh boy, Here, here's Rob's favorite effect. Ooh, look! Hmm. What else is even here? So I should change our formation again. <laughs> Why are there more floors? What did I do wrong? What is this? A, t a save point? We're only at the midway point? Oh jeez, come on. What horrible thing is after this? Well, I guess I should probably use a card, I guess, if I want more items. Although, we're probably going to get robbed and it'll be worth less XP than the other fight. But honestly, we do, have, we do have 10 lucky cards. I should probably use them at some point. Uh, who needs magic resistance the most? Thesaurus? Make him immune. Good luck, Calvisha. Hope you have a good time. Oh, I wanted to put bombs everywhere. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, this dungeon never ends. I think we can all agree, Chad. This this dungeon is terrible. Just genuinely, genuinely terrible. Also, look at them going, oh, with their mouth. Love them. Uh, I don't know. Shoot them with water. I don't, I, I don't really know. Oh, these two are in the same group. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Try using some of these, see how they go. So sadly, I messed up the Saurus's weapons a little bit. So we're gonna hopefully get another boss weapon for him that is not real gun. That is not the real gun, because it's just too expensive be able to use realistically in a battle. So that's really unfortunate to learn about the level limit, since I think we got punished the hardest with him. We haven't really received like a new boss weapon still. Like we're getting a lot of AoEs. We don't have like a good single target one. Also, I'm glad I AoE'd there. I got rewarded. So I think I'll just use a card here regardless. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's not worth it. We could save it for Monster Isle, I suppose. It just depends on when I want my XP. I definitely don't need money. We're good for a while. That was so rude. I was like half a step from the exit. So rude. Um, Kill you. You're I don't know what their weakness is if they have one. We're gonna go ahead and use the pineapple grenade again. That is not who I thought I was targeting. Mistake. Hopefully she kills this one. Or this is gonna be very awkward. Ooh, okay, she did. Good, good, good. Critical. Gave me the super punch. That did very little damage to Holo. Holo is basically a walking god amongst men. Even know why they're bothering with him, to be honest. 
I love the mentality that the game is trying to, like, I guess target our quote-unquote weak mage when he's, like, by far the tankiest character. Like, completely unkillable. There we go. Blur the bomb. Yeah. Alright, this feels like a boss arena. Anything I want to do before the boss arena? I guess switch who's in front. Something like this. I still have Kirk weapon equipped, right? Inventory. Okay, I got two left. That's all I wanted to know. Might be worth using. Wow. This gimmick sucks, chat. I hate this gimmick so much. Yeah, see, if you're not, like, dead center with it, it doesn't count it, just so chat is aware. Like, oh, come on. Seriously? Whatever. Come on. Are you gonna come towards me, or just waste my time? Just waste my time, apparently. I'm gonna try to damage boost through this. Wait, get it. Oh, come on, just hit the block once. This is the worst gimmick. I hate this enemy so much. I'm gonna get pushed off. Ugh! Why is it so picky with where I got a bomb? I hate it so much, chat. Hate it. Or is it just that, like, one of them is fake? And I gotta find the right one. Is that what's also happening here? Alright, maybe it's the far left one. It's too late now. I'm gonna damage boost through. Which, again, I just... I really don't like gimmicks like this, chat. This whole dungeon has been ultra gimmicky. Maybe it's the middle one that's real. Annoying. Anyway, we're not gonna deal with it the intended way. Alright, we definitely need to heal. Can we all roll our eyes, chat? Like, you... You already have, like, very finicky boxes to hit it. And then it's like, it also is awkward timing. And then it's very punishing if you don't get it. It's so dumb. It's it's literally easier to unintentionally damage boost through it than it is to actually do it the way it's intended. Right, so we need to get into a fight here. This is mandatory. Because otherwise we're going to be too low health for the boss. I am so happy we have uh, first aid. I am so glad we have power leveled one character so I don't have to deal with the BS of this dungeon. I just like to stay chat. I know, it's such a bad gimmick. If it wasn't just like super picky with the bombs, I don't even think I would be like upset with it. But like the fact that like I have definitely put bombs dead center in it and it just doesn't register the hits makes me like question like did I just put it in the wrong place? Versus, like, oh, one of them's real, one of them's fake. As we saw the first time I went through there, I missed everything. Even though that was the intended solution. Which is hilariously stupid. Welcome, Remote Vannery. Hope you're doing well. We need it to the... Okay, so this is good, because I can heal everybody to full health. And we should be ready for the boss now. Critical heal. What a time waster. Please perish. Please crit him. Save us a lot of time. Please crit Thesaurus. Please crit. Yes! Okay, you're dead. Thank you, Critical. So we undid his healing, and then we murdered him. Big damage. Doing great. Nice, nice. So yeah, this is by far, I think, my least favorite gimmick in the game. I hope this never returns in any of the sequels. Where I'm gonna get real tired of those dungeons real fast. Might as well as make a pattern of bombs while we're waiting. Alright, so we're pretty much at the boss arena. Either are. There are, I think, five Wild Arm games and a remake. Oh, so we are fighting Plotomia. So I guess. I guess very literally every Di Diablo pillar named after an enemy means we are fighting them. Maybe this time they'll die for real. It could be worth carding just for money, if nothing else. Wow, what a shock! That the last little year... Yearling? The last little yearling got this far. 
Yeah, it's either 4 or 5. I don't remember if that count includes the remake of the first game. We couldn't just stand around and do nothing. That's why we got strong and made our way this way. Or made our way this far, excuse me. Change it into power. My power of desire is stronger than anyone's. What? Huh. Don't make me laugh. You act so self-righteous. What'd you say? How dare you? Try some of your justice out on me if you dare. I'll stop you all. I'll pulverize you. Well, if he hits hello, I don't think he's going to be successful in that venture. The seventh moon? Yeah, pretty much. What's the point in keeping the world as it is today? The world is as convenient for those in power. For us, it's just a suffocating place. I promised my men we'd create a free world. My men and I will reclaim this wasted world and seek out our own heaven. No compromises with my desire. I too will become strong and crush you all. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So anyway, we're gonna just shoot him in the face as per usual. This will do full action here. I don't think this guy had a weakness, but I can start at the bottom of the list. Um, I guess I could save up for... Do I save up for rail? I should just pineapple every turn, honestly. If I build meter elsewhere, that's fine. Yeah, that's not his weakness. We're starting with our most damaging loot boost. to me a dynamite. Welcome, Dango. How much is this gonna do is the question. You know what? He is decidedly much easier than the previous boss that we were fighting. I don't think he's gonna give us good XP. I think I'll still take a safety heal, though. Don't get me wrong. There we go. Yeah, Thesaurus lived because he threw a clone into a reactor. This boss battle should be over very soon. We're doing so much damage. Uh, that's our last boss killer. Use Graviton on him and... Sadly, I'm not going to get up to two arms, I think, before he dies. I guess I could combine just because. Yeah, that. why did that arm cost 99 to use? So he's almost dead, based off his stance. But he's getting absolutely destroyed by our team right now. Let's see. Is this combined effect worth using on this character? Let's learn in real time. Oh wait, we have the soul deleter? Wait. Um, okay, that's not what I thought we had. <laughs> um, is he just dead? How much is that gonna do? Not that much. Not that much. It looks like an AoE, though, which could be useful for later. Alright, so I'm out of good abilities. I guess I could combine just because I can. We'll submerge him, and I guess we'll just punch him in the face. Maybe we'll crit. I don't expect him to last past this turn, though, to be honest. It was kind of an underwhelming spell, but it did good damage. There we go. Summon Vaporeon, chat. Bubble Beam. Although it said Bubble Blast, that's not really bubbly, but whatever. Sure, whatever. How much does this one do? Is it worth it? Is it more than a thousand? Okay, it's worth a thousand. That's worth it. S sucker punch him. Oh wow, he actually did survive that. I thought for sure that would kill him. Um, I mean, I'm not going to heal. I'm just going to risk it at this point. Let's use Napalm Hit into maybe like Flareon using Flamethrower. I think so. He has taken a surprising amount of damage and still lived. 
So it could backfire here if he doesn't die. I'm just very surprised. He must have like, what, like 14,000 health or something? All right, we just barely killed him. 7,000 experience, 7,000 money. Okay, it was good I didn't use the card there. Hello leveled, that's good. Everybody going up a level. War respite acquired. There you go, chat. Tell me one thing. Are you guys right? Is justice on your side? The side of the winner? Either way, this is the end of the road for me. I could barely stand anymore. There we go, chat. We did it. I'm glad it sensed that he was defeated and therefore shattered the pillar. Promise me one thing. Please treat my men with leniency. I know it's self-serving, but... I mean, he doesn't have to go any further than that, honestly. I was the one who made them do what they did. It was all my fault. Hmm. Sure. Promises made on the battlefield have to be kept. Bonds formed in battle of the strongest. I'm glad I got to meet you. You really are a hero. I beg you. Do something before Vinsfeld goes ballistic. You're the only one I can trust to look after my troops. Damn, we murdered him so hard he exploded into light. Please don't make me backtrack out of this dungeon. He really... He wasn't really a bad person after all. That's why he could risk his life on the battlefield. And that's why it's so sad. You're gonna make me walk- oh, you- that better take me to the first floor. Do not make me walk out of this dungeon. War of Respite cures all abnormal states, single use. Oh, that's kind of lame. Uh, let's see. We're getting closer. Nine more levels, and this character will basically be unstoppable. Oh, that's right. We were technically supposed to learn other abilities. Not that I feel like it's necessary with this character. Um, so I need darkness, light, and another ice move? Uh. I think he's using ice currently, right? Oh, he's using darkness, which is fine. Learn a new move. I forgot we had to teach him things. He, he already felt so perfect, chat. <laughs> It's like, did, like, does he really need more elements? Does he, chat? Does he? Please take me out of here immediately. Thank you. Holy, that place was terrible. So that was one of the dungeons down. Yeah, looked like a couple he almost learned things. But he has uh, other techniques he has to learn as well. He only needs one more, the element of surprise. Yeah, he had, he had it down to rest one on two different ones, so it was very close to learning an ability, apparently. Nice, let's go over here and do whatever this one is. I'm hoping something fights me at some point, because I would like to heal. Which is very awkward in this game that you can't heal unless you're basically in combat or you have to use consumable items. Which I'm not gonna lie, that feels pretty terrible. I don't know why they left it like that. Um... Also, now that I think about it, I should probably go back regardless to restore our ammo count. So I'll just work from here. I thought about doing the next boss, but I'm like, I did kind of burn out of ammo in these characters. That sound effect is so terrible. Apologies for that. As well as on the encounter, though. Let's see if I can upgrade one of his weapons a little more. Oh, she figure everyone in the middle of a football game. Oh, there's a big berry. That's actually good for later. 2,000 HP heals, kind of important. So I could do this, unless I have a lot of clips to spare, then I don't need to go back. Let's see, how am I doing in terms of clips? I have five. Mm, I'm going to save at least three for the final area. 
I don't know if I really want to use it just because I'm feeling lazy. Although I do need to park somewhere. Wait, where's the beach? We have to learn this anyway. Might as well learn now. There it is. Let's see if we can empower our weapons slightly for a thesaurus, because now we have a bazillion in cash. Pretty much its only purpose is to upgrade arms at this point. I don't even think I want to purchase items anymore, aside from just arm upgrades. Doesn't feel super worth it most of the time, especially if I'm planning on just using the characters with guns. Let's take a look at his items again. Yeah, I really wish I had Bazooka leveled up more. So sad I can't undo this. So we just don't have, like, a boss killer. I guess in theory, I could try to bump this thing's damage a little more to make it more usable. So it's technically our strongest weapon, as is the cluster. Yeah, let's do that. It's better than nothing. He doesn't have a way of maxing his accuracy, so it's more just like what I feel comfortable with with this character. I'll leave it as is. So far I haven't had a real reason to use these items. Was I waiting on a point for a character? I might have been. We're gonna also save so we don't have to redo any of that nonsense. So I could cut FP usage down if I want to. I think I want Advanced Guard. Just to see what this does. You... you probably just need defense up. Across the board. And once they're done with the defense ups, I think we can move on to something more interesting with them. Let's go save the game. So we technically have a boss weapon that is also an AoE. Our bazooka is very cheap to use, so it still has a purpose. If I had been leveling it better, the bazooka's power would have been like 50 or so, which would have been completely perfect. But unfortunately, we can't undo what we had before. I mean, I'm kind of morbidly curious what the other dungeons are like, because they were... they were really bad. That last dungeon was terrible. That might be one of my least favorite dungeons so far in the series. Between, like, the awful room design, the spinning graphics, the ridiculous difficulty jump in the bosses... I'm glad we had an overpowered character, by the way. Think about it this way, chat. I might not have been able to AoE heal had we not done what we did, and we would have had an absolutely miserable time without guaranteed first aid in those battles. I don't know what you would have done without guaranteed first aid. Yeah, no items over here. I'm glad we will never have to learn how to do that legitimately. No thank you, chat. on the other side. Awkward. Oh. Made one. Oh, is it like in the ocean or something? I thought it was here. Kind of sucks. Well, not what I thought it was, I guess. What's the point of this area? You just have like this large continent where you can't do anything. So it's like literally on the other side of this. I thought it was at the top of the mountain here. I guess I misjudged it. Anyway, watch me skipping all those encounters, chat. Nope. Nice try, though. Where is this?
Oh, there's like a little place over here. Oh, maybe it does wrap around them? That's super awkward. Where's the start of this where I have to go? I'm looking at this and I'm like in disgust. That is so tedious. Where is the start of this? Wait, how does that work? Alright, we're gonna explore the island one more time. Was there another way to go up there that I missed? We found the destination. We clearly have to go there at some point. At least this is far, I think. So we have to somehow get up there, but I didn't see see a way up here? I mean, the worst thing that happens is I dash while mashing. So, it... Yeah, there's not a... What? I'm so confused. I feel like I'm missing something. This is the only thing that wrapped around to get to the point where we have to go, but there's no, like, landing pad or anything. That's not- I don't think I could take the ship here, either. Hmm. Weird. But sadly, I don't know which one this is to even potentially double-check where this is. Let's take a look at the world map. What is this even next to? So it's here, anything in particular. There is a pillar up here. Unless it's one of those things where I have to like talk to somebody and then they'll tell me how to get here. I wouldn't put past this game, which is kind of annoying. kind of annoying. Um, I guess we'll just ignore this for now. So imagine there's something near a guild galad, maybe near quarterly, maybe above or below. There is like that island to the southwest. I don't know how to reach this one, we'll ignore it for now. There's a place above us. Maybe that's it? Find an abandoned city buried in the salt in the northern plain, you must stay away. What's left of Arkeem, part of the former Slay High Kingdom. Okay. Thank you, random person. I wonder if I had to talk to him. Whatever. I think that guy was chastising us for not believing in our friends, even though he was the one that sowed the seeds of doubt to begin with. Whatever. I'm gonna ignore that idiot. Okay. I mean, I'm still gonna check it out because we're here. Even if this isn't anything we can interact with at the moment. Lost City Archive. Some strange contraption is keeping the door shut. Do I need a duplicator? enter this building. See a book entitled Snake Road? Sure. Be lured from this land into the dimensional interval and follow the Snake Road. Snake's tail is tween dimension. Snake head is the Diablo Tower. Okay. No hidden items in here. We'll move on. So maybe that's why I can't reach the other one. Maybe I had to use this to reach it. A little counterintuitive. 
two item. Conductor acquired. What's the other one? Big Berry. What's a conductor? Purple Crystal Globe. Okay, maybe that's what I need to open up the other... Should have taken that encounter for healing. Don't hear any items on the outside, so I'm not gonna bother doing that again. Take an encounter here. How bad could it be? Use Shock Slide, because otherwise I don't think I'd really use it. It's the opposite of Lightning Water. We'll find out. Normal attacks here. Blackgate can be used, nice. I believe we still have other darkness skills we can learn. Because, you know, this character, you know, wasn't strong enough, so let's teach him more moves. So 10 more and he learns this. He was one away from learning the ice attack. We're getting pretty close to that, at least. I think that was the one that gave attack up or something like that. Welcome back, Rob, by the way. Cavity in the center of the pedestal, something's trapped in there. Okay, we use the conductor. Hit the switches. Open the door. What did this do for us? Don't know. That's fine. We have that for later, I guess. I love the dr the dramatic music playing and like literally nothing is happening. <laughs> right, chat? Like literally nothing. Are the boxes containing items? They do. How do I get past this very awkward thing then? Can I use Puka to grab some items? Can I blow the boxes away. Probably not. Other conductor acquired. How do I deal with those boxes? Puka can't lift these. Unless I could kick this out of the way. No. Assuming I can't just knife them, right? No, it doesn't look like it. Boxes are immune to fire. Naturally, of course. Whatever, we'll figure that out eventually. Found a save point, which is a little concerning. Oh, you know what? I just realized there's something we'd probably do in that other room before we get up on it. Try blowing them up. And I want to check around outside town before we go further. That does look colored differently. No. It was worth a shot. Before we go anywhere else... I can zip up there at some point. Another doorway over here. This is where I can use the duplicator. Again, it's a very weird name for a key, but whatever. Defenses I can't deal with yet. Apparently, yeah. The, the Gravity's too tough. We can't jump. Can we blow these up? Yeah. 
Nova Circlet. Um. Oh, is it actually like a headband for somebody? Ah, uh, Ryrie. That makes sense. Hmm. So, I think we still need a tool to get back here. I'm gonna make a note. We just wanna see what these are later. Let's see, there was the the dam north of orderly equals fence. Then there's the lost city north of orderly equals fence. I'm assuming I'm gonna get something to deal with fences. I can't do anything with it yet. Enough notes for now. Let's continue forward. Yeah, I was worried, because I have some of the files transferred over from the other computer. Oh, we just opened up a hole. What's this up here? Be able to wire zip. I mean, I don't know what this is doing for us. I can drop down the hole. I'm assuming that's what it wants me to do. So this is probably how we make progress. Is there anything else I didn't do? It's very Zelda indeed. Windows here. Hmm. Honestly, I'm just gonna blow them up. Unfortunately, I picked it up almost instantly. I did not even see what it was. Do the uppercut from earlier. I don't know what we just picked up. It looked brown. It's about all I registered from it. That is kind of the downside, is if you bump into an item, you auto-pick it up. Means that if you're near multiple things, you just lose sight of it. I don't see anything of interest here. You give them uppercut, which is a big damage increase. I probably could have had that on in the previous fight. Also, I just realized he's not even wearing a gear item. That's kind of funny. This will make him immune to poison. That's like the only thing that would realistically kill him at this point. Yeah, no new hats. Hazel Sprague we've had for a while. I'm just making sure we don't have anything else that's useful for these characters. Serenade we had for a while. Okay. Let's do, do a quick check to see if there's anything else in the room. Nope, it's not. The book entitled The Menacing Lost Technology. We did. Super weapons created by the Lost Technology, the Angel Weapons had immense destructive power. Data analysis reveals they can, in a split second, turn an entire continent to scorched earth. In the past, this power was not used as a weapon, but as a military bargaining tool. Okay. Okay, we're gonna keep exploring, because I'm not entirely convinced we've seen everything. Went through there, so I don't think we have to go through the northern building anymore. Our destination will be to the south. I didn't see anything to do over here. Is there anything where I couldn't enter? Yeah, we couldn't get in this building. Is it possible for me to get into this? No. Seems like I should be able to. Oh, that's suspicious. Yeah, there we go. Rob checking out the store. Of course, there's a random uh, glyph here. Voice from the stone says, I am the ruler of death, Diramtos. Diramtos acquired. My power is endlessly circulating. Power? Yeah, that's fair. Now, question How strong is this? Seem very out of the way. 
Oh my gosh. Oh no, chat. That is such a big increase. It's death element. It's not even darkness. It's death element. This presumably is new skills. We're gonna put that on eventually. Thanatos X protects from sudden death, which is okay. Drains life from a single life form. Okay. So I think at this point we just need to kill with darkness abilities. Do one more thing for ice. Yeah, I want that on for boss battles for sure. When we don't care about our speed and we just want damage, that's the perfect item for us. I'm glad we spent some time looking around. We could have missed that. It was pretty easy to miss, because that was a camera angle thing. Um, I guess we'll take a battle here. We need to get a couple kills. So for now, we'll abuse our response speed to get kills. Do regular attacks here into... It says reanimator, so I'm assuming it is dead. So turn undead should just one-shot this thing from existence. So unfair. What a character, right, chat? It's like how much how much health does it have? Who, who cares? Get one shot. Idiot. <laughs> anyway, this should be where we need to make progress. So we have the other conductor. I didn't figure out how to get to those other items, though. Is it worth checking those again? Hmm. I want to see if the bomb rides down with us or not. I'm going to look at our inventory very briefly to see if there's something in here that we didn't have before. Yeah, I'm not seeing what it was. Might have just been like a normal item or something weird. Oops. Got to use the conductor. Oh, the bomb suspends in the air. Ooh. What? What's this chill? The stench of death. Only suitable for the lost city. Regardless, it's not well suited to the world of the living. Can't sense any life waves. This must be... Ah! So you're the ghost manager. I'll destroy it for you. So promise me you won't show up again. of Poltergeist, J-Soul. So does Turn Undead just kill it instantly, or is it immune to it? I think it's worth exploring. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just keep our actions quick here. Like, does this work? Find out, I guess. It probably won't. But it's worth a try. Yeah. Fair. Punch him in his arm. A spark on us. Should not do that much damage. We got good magic resistance on him now. Yeah. I think we were supposed to have done this before the other one. Something tells me this difficulty seems much lower than the previous one we were dealing with. I'm gonna save ammo here, I guess. Build meter. Okay, so it's strong against fire. Is it weak to ice or water, maybe? Ooh, critical's huge here, actually. That did a lot of damage. His critical actually makes a big difference. I will say, it's becoming less of a regret purchase. It makes it kind of annoying for normal encounter clears. But now that we have more party members, it's not too bad. Use another shot weapon here, conserve ammo. Let's try ice. I would like to try holy once we get that eventually learned on the character. I can almost do arm times too. Which I imagine with lawnmower should be very brutal. Okay. 
Okay, it's also resistant to ice. I think I killed one of the claws, which is good. This might kill the other one. Armor down, don't really care about that. It really has not been damaging our party at all, so this has been like a pure setup. It's like one of the few times I might actually get the real cannon out legitimately without stalling on purpose. I'll try lightning, and then I'll try... Do I arms times two? Or just railgun? Uh, I mean, I could always attack again into the railgun. And then I could arm times two afterwards if he's not dead. I just want to wound his arm. There we go. Now I think we're good. I didn't miss, really. It okay, should be 100 meter now. Brilliant Buster. That did like no damage, and that was just kind of sad. Um, sure, why don't you combine? Could FP shift if I need to. I think I really want to, though. Let's try lock on with the rail gun, and then we'll do arm times two. It's like, when what what other situations am I possibly going to use this rail gun? Might as well as conserve more useful ammo. So I don't have to backtrack to town. I still don't know why this is called Vapor Blast. It should be like Flame Blast instead. Or like Phoenix Blast. Let's see how much damage this does. Probably not a, a lot. It's probably resistant. Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't think I have the holy thing on me. I could have switched mediums technically before doing that. Okay, damage is okay. But we'll do arm times two and see how much damage we do. Yeah, like I could have, for example, switched him out with probably the life one. Or light. Probably stair row is probably what would have done damage to this enemy. It's probably weak to light. It is undead. It does make sense. I'm gonna conserve my points here. I don't think it really matters what I do. I think it's gonna be resistant to basically everything that I have, so let's not overthink it. And we'll arm times to double pineapple, maybe? But sadly, he's probably gonna resist this. We're just gonna make the boss battle take longer, sadly. But he should be near dead, at least. We've been wailing on him for a while. Sucks. Life force, okay. <sighs> okay, well, that's just one shot. Cool. Um, let's bring you in. Do something like this. That felt a little unfair to die at full health there. Oh, just a tiny bit, chat. Just a teeny tiny bit unfair. We're gonna heal into. So I just wanna make sure their health is up in case that happens again. Anything else I could really do here? Not really. Uh... I mean, I need them to be healthy in case something weird happens. I don't think there's anything else I could really do. Still improve Irene's damage for now. Okay, so that'll save us some time later. Pump her up so she does damage comparable to Bashley. Don't want to conserve ammo for later. Caloric Nova? Okay. Well, I think I'm glad I healed here. Yeah, I'm glad I healed there. But let's do probably Arc Kick into First Aid into... You know what? Let's not even bother with revives. Change my mind. Let's just get the Saurus in here instead of Vicky. This should be fine. 
Hopefully this does not remove the bonus damage we had with the other character. That would make me kind of sad. Oh, meter. Okay. The most characters are now healed, except for Bashley, which we can fix later. Damage is decent. So if I'm not going to be using weapons on this fight, she is going to out-damage. Although we can see how strong Thesaurus is, that if he doesn't crit, he's comparable with one of her better skills. It's pretty silly. This builds a ton of meter for everybody. Gatling to this, we'll first aid this. I'm gonna lock on the bazooka. So yeah, at least I have some backup fighters for later. Should do pretty good damage, hopefully. Okay. Decent damage. 10,000 experience, 10,000 money, the source of 29, two sorcery apples. So unfortunately, we didn't have a good element for that fight, so I think we're going to have to start focusing light really, really soon if we get into another scenario like that. I like how we kill it and then we basically just never talk about it again. Kind of call to action for us. Let's do something like this. So Vicky did get slightly more health. She went from 400 to 600. But sadly, she's still pretty vulnerable. I got a weapon upgrade for her. How many more fights do I need to do for darkness to cap out? Eight more. Okay, that's not too bad. And we can learn... We'll, we'll, we'll equip ice for one battle and learn it. Get that out of the way. Um... Do I want anything on these other characters, is the question. Yeah, she got defense up from this, which I think I'm okay with. So I'm gonna try not to skip an encounter here. I would like to heal. Go further, hope it happens. Mind Reflector? Oh, it's another teleport game. Closed by magic, okay. Goodbye, other duplicator. Senga. I think we used that before. That sounds vaguely familiar. Uses luck by one level. Um Do I need that at the moment is the question. What's the Sars's luck at? Oh, he's got the worst luck right now. That would explain a lot. That honestly explains a lot. I might go to- I might make the characters use an in because our luck ratings are atrocious. Snake Road activated. Here we go, chat. I'll let the cinematic play. It's been a while since we've seen this. This turned into quite a dungeon. I was not expecting this to go as long as it did, but whatever, I guess. Hmm. Imagine just one of the misses. Yeah, we had that happen in the first game. Let's see what's in here. Another duplicator use? That sucks. Holy Grail acquired. What does the Holy Grail do? Nullifies instant death? Who do I put it on, though? Such a tough call. Maybe it's on Thesaurus. I want him to be unkillable. Like, it's tempting to put it on uh, Hello, but hopefully Hello will just go first. We should be good. So I'm assuming the boss will be using it on us. So it is true, this was the only way to get up here. Wow, that really sucks. A waste of time trying to find the other thing earlier. I was looking at it, I'm like, yeah, there was only one way to get here. Stupid. Let's get into a fight here.
So we're just gonna do some normal attacks here, I think. Heal into the multi blast just in case. Alright, so he's out of kill range for the most part. Apologies for the sound effect. That was just in case she didn't kill with the other attack. Irene hit level 29, okay. So she's going first, her damage seems fine, so I probably want her in the party for now going first. And at this point, we just need to make sure I start getting more kills with, uh... Hello. I definitely want to take this encounter. I could purposely just defend, but my concern is that if if he gave me a Holy Grail, it probably assumes that I should be using it. Although these things I'm less worried about. Let's see how, let's see how Fafnir likes to be burned. Yeah, that's good. I mean, at this point I'm just gonna first aid again, because they don't do any damage to me. So I might as well just come in with full health on the next dungeon. This puts me out of concern range. Please don't be poisoned. You can be paralysis, I don't care about that, just don't be poisoned. How annoying. How many antidotes do I have? Eleven? That's gonna be very interesting if we have to keep fighting these. Let's see if the game lets me use the Cure Poison or not, or if it skips to the end. It does. It skips to the end and I take the damage. That's rude. Some of the games it does remember I use healing items. We played Suikoden earlier, which does that. So it'll remember if you tried using a healing thing. That way you don't need to do it outside of combat. Oh well. Let's get rid of that poison. Yeah, we are, I think, within six. Counting correctly? Let's find out. Yes, yeah, six. So just six more enemies to go, and then we can take out the death element. Or the dark element, and maybe learn death if we want to. Although, probably should just finish ice with one kill at some point. Alright, so as long as we kill at least one a battle, I think we're fine. I'll just choose to skip encounters a little less, just so that we can guarantee at least, say, six random encounters, one kill each time. I think that's doable. Yeah, her damage is very low, so she would benefit very heavily from, like, Kirk weapon compared to some of the other characters. Ooh, we're in Judeca's Tower. Uh. Is there, is there a reason I can't enter this? Oh, oh, just being very finicky. Only one spot you can enter. Okay, how heinous is this gonna be? Oh no, the spinny things are here again. Oh no. I'm gonna feel so nauseous, chat. I hate this effect so much. Look at this. Gross. Uh, we want to take this encounter. Adel would be proud. There's so many towers we're going through. You are what? Bird of Barrel? This thing. Um, even though you look undead, I still want to see if I can one-shot you with something else instead. That's all I needed to see. So fortunately, Bashley goes decently quickly. So we should hopefully get an attack here. No, he's still too slow. Damn. Irene can't one-shot, so it's a little less useful here. 
defense up, but he's already wounded, and the worst thing that happens is hello kills. It is almost Gurdabulu. Still kills. That's fun. We got a cure all status ailment item, which is good. I'm gonna save that for the end of the game, though. Prefer to just use the individual cures. That'll be when we get hit by, like, the equivalency of bad breath, and we get, like, five status ailments on us. That's when I'll use that item. You can drop the swordsman lore for me, oh no. Oh boy. Oh, uh, what is this? Oh, the camera! The camera! <laughs> it ate my input! <laughs> that sucked. I was trying to rotate the camera, but it didn't do what I wanted it to do there. Oh, come on. We're gonna be here forever, chat. Why do I have to rotate the camera to deal with this? Hate this camera so much. Uh, we're just gonna learn where to go. Uh, we got through it. Oh, camera. Uh, we're just gonna have to react to where we think it is rather than see where it is. Like, I'm not going to be able to tell which one to stand on until we're, like, done moving, whether I'm, it's, like, the upper or lower tile. As I said before, I am... I really, really, really don't like this camera. And now we're having puzzles where I need to be in specific spots, where it's very ambiguous as to where I should be standing until I'm, like, lined up with it. Not... not a favorite. Another boss already. Alright, let's swap out. Get rid of Irene. She does decent damage. I'm a little surprised we didn't get into more fights. Is it worth... No, it's not worth it. Here they come. This will be interesting. I'm destined for this. This monster is about to get exercised. Come on, come on, come on. The blood in me is boiling. And the destiny I bear is wailing. I shall show you what the descendant of a hero can do. Okay. This thing is called Red Hot Lava Monster Magmalizer. I'm assuming water or ice beats this thing, so we've narrowed it down a little bit. <laughs> the Destiny I Bear is wailing. The translation of this game uh, is terrible. <laughs> I guess we'll attack the head. Try water first. Oh my god, jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh, the damage. <laughs> that was disgusting. Oh my gosh, chat. This is going to be a quick boss battle, something tells me. You better use a mirror coat. Go ahead, raise your magic resistance. I don't care. Unless that literally reflects magic, you're so dead this turn. You better pray that reflects magic. Oh, it doesn't? GG then. Wow, this is going to be a fast battle, chat. Maybe I should have left the other team in. I could just barely build up enough FP to do anything. It hasn't even attacked yet. It's just kind of sad. Can we agree, chat? It's just kind of sad. It hasn't even hit me to build meter. This is also kind of pathetic. I guess I'll bolt action him. Oh, now you reflect? Okay, now it reflects. I guess it failed the first time? I mean, this is fine. I don't really care. We basically one-shot it earlier. So that saved a ton of turns. So if these two have to do the physical finisher, I don't really care. Is Mirror Coat random, or is it just like... Because it didn't work the first time. I mean, if that's all it does, I don't really care. I'm just gonna heal. 
Like, oh no, you showed me. I'm just gonna wail on you with my physical attack characters. Right, chat? Like, okay. I'm still doing pretty good damage. It's not quite one-shot territory, but... Glass. Okay, how much does that do? Pathetic. I'm gonna see if the mirror coat fell off of the target. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm afraid to do the AoE one, so I'm gonna keep it simple, because I don't want to party wipe myself. Let's do a normal shot attack here. Let's see. Okay, so it is persisting now. Maybe it's like every time... Maybe it's like every time it's used, it's like a one use. Maybe that's how it works. We've not really encountered it before, so we're just kind of feeling out. I guess we'll never know. GG, I guess. That was easy. Ashley at 29, Vicky at level 29. MLR, I'm assuming that's for Irene. Which is fine. Her only real weakness is strength is not as high as it should be, and defense. Her getting defense here is pretty good. Yeah. We should be pretty close to learning this ability. Ideally, we're gonna get attacked five more times, but we'll see what happens, I guess. So anyway, that was... Pretty much a massive downgrade to the nonsense we fought earlier. Can we all agree, chat? That first tower I went to, I think you were clearly supposed to do that one later. I don't know if it'll be dead last or anything, but... We have Grimlocks. Okapeats. Let's punch the stupid Grimlocks to death. Let's use... Same ammo. Papagu. Assuming he's pickpocketing us. Whatever. I don't really care about that. More worried about whatever these do. I prefer they perish. One dead. Space Emperor. Okay, it doesn't do any damage. That's good. We can finish them off with hello then. Please don't kill. Damn. That's definitely gonna kill. Oh well. So we're almost done with this one, and then we can swap out. We'll try to finish off Ice, and then we'll keep him on Light for a while, even though it doesn't really work well with his stats. But it's interesting you could slide and turn around while doing the slide. Kinda funny. That visual effect is nauseating. So we're at the halfway point. So yeah, after this we'll take a break. We'll do the final pillars, I think, tomorrow. Thus, the party is slowly catching up in levels. We've been avoiding a lot of encounters. Probably made the other pillar a bit difficult. So we're, I think, about the right level for this area. It's fine. I'm gonna try not to skip encounters. Fun. As I said before, I want to unlock the other weapon technique. At some point, I do want to basically just remove everybody from the party so that he can do it. Here's an example. I'm just going to first aid here and defend every turn. That should keep us safe. Of course, it's another poisoner. They're the only things I can't deal with consistently. I hate that so much. Why do they all have annoying status ailments, chat? Barrier doesn't matter, you're still gonna die instantly. I don't know what you do. I haven't seen you before. Oh, and I'm diseased, so I can't get rid of that at all. That's hilariously terrible. We'll treat that later, I think. I'm not gonna worry about it mid-battle. Oh, you have stone gaze. Please don't hit the... Okay, 
missed everybody. So we have to definitely kill the one that has Petrify. I can deal with Poison. Stone potentially instant losing us is not good enough. Get rid of you. Okay, so now we can swap out to Ice. Potentially learn two spells in one combat, which is kind of nice. Let's go ahead and change our equipment over. I think she had snow, right? Doesn't really matter what she has on right now. Let's kill with this. And... And we should have all the snow abilities out of the way. Nice. Or respite acquired. Okay, so if I need to get rid of the disease poison combo, got a few of those, but I'd rather use our individual cures first. Use disease free antidote. Still have three cure-alls, which will be good for later. Um, let's see. This. Who is the light one? Is it you? No, I think it's the Saurus. Let's give him response speed up. Maybe this will help him. Let's have her attack power up, because I think that suits her character pretty well. Okay. We're making our way through the new spells. Which is so annoying. This kind of stuff is so tedious to me, chat. There, I think there's another game I saw recently that had this, which was... Uh, Alundra. Like, do people find this entertaining? Like, honestly? Like, when you have to just kind of just wait in this, like, long puzzle? It reminds me of, like, little things you would see in, like... Oh, I can't tell what side it was on. Camera. It kind of reminds me of those, like, kind of annoying moments in, like, the Mario games. Like, I don't know people that were like, Yeah, I love auto-scrollers. I don't know. Rotate the camera. You can see it a little better. Yeah, I guess wrong here. Just why? It's so long. It's driving me wild, chat. Where is the exit? Please let me get to this exit. Holy. Unbelievable. Please don't hit me. Oh. Jeez. Get me out of here, chat. <laughs> tired of these stupid puzzles like the challenge of it is not even like it the challenge is the camera is terrible like that's like like here you go deal with our terrible camera got him glad he couldn't tell which tile it was on due to how ambiguous the camera angle is you got me i'll just ice beam I would like to heal, but I'm kind of worried about the other enemies having something BS on them. I think it's better I just go all offense here. Okay, so with the speed up, he does actually outspeed the other enemies now, which is huge. But I could get rid of the speed up in boss battles for damage. That's fair. I mean, if this doesn't kill, it's fine. So we're getting a lot of money in case I want to upgrade one of the spare arms again. Still have enough for, like, endgame stuff. 
Uh, I guess this is fine. I don't think it's worth swapping them out because I feel like I'm about to fight the boss. <laughs> Come on. I hate this so much, chat. You know, when the game is reminding you of Castlevania 64, it's not a good sign. I am not a fan of these kinds of puzzles. Speaking of which, I couldn't tell where it was over that little block due to the camera angle. We're gonna move it back here. Camera angle. Wait. Wait. Did you did you prevent me from moving just then? Why did you do that? That was weird. I held up, but then nothing happened. Unless my controller's on the fritz. That would also explain some things, honestly. Yeah, this really is Castlevania 64. What is this? Gonna be moving nitroglycerin across the- what? Why are there more? Stop it! This is not fun. I don't like these. If I wanted to play a platformer, I'd play a platformer. Please don't put platforming in my action RPG. Annoying. Please get me out of here. Please don't let there be a combination of spinning stuff. And the on-rail section. I beg of you, please don't do that. I'm like really morbidly curious what the uh... What the other dungeons are like. I surprised them. Okay. In which case, let's take this opportunity to do as much damage as possible. Let's learn some spells. If we can get the light element, it would be great. If I don't get it before the next boss, it's okay. So that way we are kind of unlocking spells as we go. So either way, it's going to be a time loss, don't get me wrong. But I might as well do it while I'm climbing, so that we could get okay XP. Yeah, that did no damage, because Hello is an immortal god who cares not for things like stats and balance. So the faster he can unlock the light magic, the better. So we basically unlocked darkness for him completely. Ice is fully unlocked. Just need to do more there. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I just don't really enjoy those kinds of things. I've not been really great at platformers, but then having to do it in a game not suited for it, like as in a game that doesn't have a camera that follows you, is atrocious. Borderline unforgivable. I probably should have gotten into one more fight to heal. I might be in trouble here. Let's see, I guess. Well, let's kill Judeka, I guess. Yup, 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 they're here. They're finally here. See you around in Parameter. We're just gonna beat this boss and pause. This makes me so happy. I've been so excited. My glasses are about to fall off again. I've got you now. Your schemes and your traps won't work with us anymore. Let's settle it fair and square. Fair and square. I'm glad you brought that up. I make this a little, little game more fun. All I did was give you guys a small handicap. I did it to prolong your agony and to watch you get caught in a trap. What'd you say? If I had a hand in your demise, we would have settled this long ago. You don't seem to understand. There's no point to it. There's nothing at the top of this tower. What does this guy do all day? It's true. Person's life. People are doing their best to live well, but you toy with them like that. I can't forgive you for having no compassion for others' pain. I won't forgive you. It looks like that little brat is getting into adult business. Raising? If you want sympathy, at the very least cry in a cute little voice. Well, I guess it's time to murder him. Working under Vinsfeld did guarantee one would never be bored. Even if I didn't do anything, Vinsfeld would get me a place to play. 
All I wanted to do is play. It's fun. It's too much fun. <laughs> I follow you anywhere, Vinsfeld. My needs are met when I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. Stop talking about your needs with people. What's with it, with it in the, the quotations of, like, either people demanding to be satisfied or things of that nature? I guess we'll just shoot him in the face. Actually, before I do that, why don't we use Perk Weapon? We're gonna be here for a while, I think. So we know he's gonna paralyze us at some point. That's gonna be his gimmick. I could probably make sure that I have Cure Paralysis on. I think it's on Bashley currently. Them getting Kirk Weapon probably makes the most sense here. Wow. Do you like how little damage Hello took compared to uh, Irene compared to earlier in the same session? Yeah, some of, the, some of these characters are not built equally. I mean, I guess we'll... I guess we can have Thesaurus buff himself. It's fine. We'll do... I don't know, what's a short animation? Sonic Claw? Now let's go for damage. Let's see how we do here. Nice. Because I have a feeling this boss battle is going to take at least five turns, so this is probably worth using. Oh, so Kirk Weapon does scale based off your damage. Interesting. So, probably for the best we did that before we did any of our FPs. Yeah, that's big damage. That did quite a lot of damage. I can probably attack a couple more times. Build meter. Let's first aid into another bolt action. That way it keeps us all at a kill range. He only needs like one more strike and if he gets targeted again, I think I could use the rail gun. Oh, please hit him for meter. Nice, that's what I wanted. All right, so we can actually use the rail gun with the damage boost, which is kind of big. Sidewinder, please don't paralyze the other character. Ooh, that's fine. Focus on damage this turn. So let's do lock on with railgun. Let's use Arctic, because we haven't seen it before. And our last dead are alive on Bashley. Alright, 2000 damage is really, really good. Let's see if it was worth building up this damage or not. That was pretty good damage. And I can almost use it again, which is good. So if I do a crit, it's kind of like using a weapon for other characters. And we haven't been paralyzed yet, which is huge. I could do arm times two, which I think I could double bazooka him. Maybe this will kill him. We'll do plasma tap, because I'm not sure if we've seen that yet. And then I guess we'll use... I don't know. I got a shock weapon for accuracy. I just want to make sure we land damage here. As long as both of these hit, this might kill. Yeah, never mind. Didn't even need it. Sars hit level 30. Irene hit level 30. Got another war respite. I've been had. I blew it at the execution site. What a fool. Are you happy? Did you have fun? You must have since you won. Ah! Well, I guess he's now officially dead, question mark. But goodbye, Judeka. It's coughing blood everywhere. These battles over life. It's all just play. No need to get so defensive. What a bore you are. I'm disappointed in you. You were defeated because you didn't leave the arena of play. One who doesn't risk his life isn't qualified to play with lives. You pull out a gun? What? what? 
I was taught that you'd lose your life if you hesitate in battle, but I wouldn't want to become someone who didn't hesitate to take a life. Darn, this is making me crazy. I'm not done playing yet. I was looking forward to seeing how the world would meet its end. Oh. He did shoot himself? You didn't want to get hurt. So you... I, I'm guessing that's what that implied. It looked like he pulled out a handgun. Then it did a shot sound effect in red screen. I thought he was just going to shoot us, but whatever. You didn't want to get hurt. So you hurt others to protect yourself. It's human to not hesitate taking another's life when you're protecting your own. Then humans are weak and fickle. Pressy never fell off the tower in all this time, that's true. No need to give in to weakness, but to live strongly. I think that's the ideal for humans to strive for. <laughs> that was awkward. Let's never, ever return to this dungeon for any reason ever again. Dungeon was terrible. Alright, so we're pretty injured, and my luck bonuses are extremely bad. So we have the worst possible luck on our main fighter, we have bad luck on our other main character, and bad luck on the other one. So it can't get that much worse. Like, we'll just reuse the end a couple times, because right now we're not getting crits. We're getting unlucky with status ailments. Let's just go back to the town of Maria. So we're just gonna clean up here a little bit. Maybe I'll get a small upgrade. We'll see. I definitely think it was worth getting bullets and the railgun. As we get higher and higher in level, it'll be a bit less tedious to get to. It'll be nice. But until we get like another 20 levels, I don't know how much it's worth focusing money into. Make sure we have ammo. Could improve dead or alive as our alternate attacker. Not a bad idea. Might as well improve our group damage a little bit. Uh... Damn, that ate a lot of our cash. Rip our cash. Alright, so we're gonna save the rest of our money. I'm not gonna purchase anything else for a while. But whatever our weapons are like are gonna be like this for probably at least two sessions. Unless we get something crazy. I don't want to talk to Cliché. Goodbye, Cliché. We're going to try to reset our luck totals, because they are crazy terrible. If we need to, we could try to lucky card one of the bosses. See if we could get some money back. But I think we're about at the money total we should be at. So we, we kind of made it fair. Alright, what's our luck bonuses actually before I go too much further? Went up to bad. Worst luck, worst luck, bad, good. Ooh. Alright, we need to re-roll. This is atrocious. So it did not improve as much as I was hoping for. I was hoping worst would roll around to best. Maybe it only goes up or down. Normal luck is fine. Bad luck is fine. I'm gonna do one more rest at the end. So now our main team has nobody with worse in it, which is good. We had two people with worse. So it has improved overall. Let's see if this balances it a bit more. Normal. Bad. Bad. Worse. Bad. Yeah, that didn't really help. At least our main team is fun. Yeah, sleeping at the end just seems to mess things up pretty heavily. Unfortunately, the game kind of rolled. We had a we had a party where it was like all bests and goods. But at least if this is our boss team, we should be able to resist some status ailments and maybe get some crits more often. Actually, before I end the session, let's take a look to see if there's any personal skills we can get. Oh, I could give him magic defense. I didn't even think about that. That would actually be huge for him. That's the only thing he can't really survive at the moment. Ashley is basically all good. Irene's slowly getting his stat ups, which is fine. 
physical defense up would be huge. No, I don't think I ever checked to see what was sold over here. In this Merc once shopped here, so they say. This is the place for items. Oh, this is just the regular item store. I don't think I've ever checked this place out, I'll be honest with you. I think I'm so used to going into the personal skill shop, I didn't remember that these were different stores. I'm sure maybe literally once at the beginning of the game I've been there, but... Past two sessions, maybe even three sessions, I've never used it. Oh well, at least we got to see what was there. Okay, yeah, we're officially done for now. So we balance out our luck a little bit, which is kind of whatever. We'll be forced to fall asleep at some points. For sure. Let's go ahead and chat. How do we feel the session went overall? Well, we saw some of my least favorite dungeon designs in a while. They're not quite, like, Zestaria terrible, but they're, like, runner-ups. They're, they're in, like, the kind of things I would expect to see in, like, Terranigma. Only, at least in Terranigma, the puzzles made sense with the way the game was designed, even if I didn't like them. Minus the stealth sections, which are terrible. Oh yeah, I guess that reminds me. Do you think there's going to be another stealth section thing in this game? Or are we going to have to avoid spotlights, like in the first game? I hope they don't bring that back. That was also one of my least favorite things. They're not Thor, it's true. Yeah, this is kind of like scraping the bottom of the barrel. Like, they have this ability to play with 3D to make it more interesting, but this is like what they chose to do with it, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, like, this isn't the exact design decisions where a game made by trolls would do this kind of stuff to annoy the player. I mean, at this point, we might as well just climb up, like, two sets of vines and one of them will just arbitrarily not lead to the destination. I mean, we're, we're basically at that level, chat. We're, like, one step removed from Terranigma. But anyway... I, I guess we'll see how the other two are. Maybe the the ones we did are the worst of the two other remaining ones we have to do, question mark. Hopefully we'll get light magic. But for now, Chan, I'm going to take a break. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next part.